Okay, guys, we are live. So for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I will be your friendly... Actually, I guess I'll be your friendly marshal uh, tonight. Your dungeon marshal. Because, uh, you see, tonight uh, we are uh, we were going to be carrying on with our regular uh, scheduled game of the uh, night below, but it appeared at first we were going to be down quite a few players, and then it seemed like we were going to have some other players, and then it once again seemed like we were going to be down player. <laughs> so where we are right now is... Um, uh, I have prepped a, uh, a one-shot here uh, playing something that is is not actually quite out yet, but the previews for it are out right now. And that would be... Let me get the glare off of here. Savage Pathfinder. And that is the uh, something that um, Pinnacle Entertainment has uh, most recently uh, kick-started successfully. Uh, they've uh, just started sending out some of the um, packages or some of the uh, books for it. The co at the time of recording, there's a version of the core rulebook out. There's a version of the original, the first module for Rise of the Rune Lords, and there's a um, some uh, archetypes. And uh, using that material, the core rulebook that's out right now has everything in it, but it is a, you know, it's, a t it's the draft version. They've already revised it twice, so um, what you see today may not reflect what the, um, the final version of the game is, but I'm pretty darn excited about it, and I thought that uh, it would be a good excuse when we thought we were going to be down a whole bunch of people to uh, take it out. And even though we're going to have a good complement of players tonight, we uh, will still be uh, venturing uh, back to, uh, to try out these uh, savage uh, Pathfinder rules. And uh, to do that, we decided to revisit some old friends. So, guys, uh, why don't I, I'll go the order. I've got you guys on the screen here. Why don't you tell us who you are and uh, who are you playing tonight? Uh, first up, we've got Steve-O. What's up? I'm back with good old Warbin Silverstone. Uh, I, I miss Warbin, uh, my good old uh, Dwarven uh, Storm Mage. Um, A druid, and, is he? And, uh, yeah, like the bolts and his uh, staff and uh, so on. And, uh, yeah, it should be interesting to uh, try a new system. <laughs> Nice. Well, he's a druid, right? That's what I said. Yeah, druid. Yeah. Oh, he's a yeah. storm mage. <laughs> uh, next up is storm Jeffrey. Hey, everybody. I'm Jeff, and I'm going to be playing everybody's favorite circus goblin, Badonk Bent Bucket. Um, he is uh, sort of a monk, sort of a <laughs> trickster, and uh, ready to plunder the barrel maze nice and and last but certainly not least is uh, arlen hi i'm arlen and i'm playing sir yvain who is a uh a human paladin type and so he's got some sort of lay on hands he smite evil type abilities and uh he's also you know a, a ferocious fighter in his armor and his with his shield and all that sort of stuff so he he likes kicking down the door and smashing a bunch of undead and, you know, defeating their evil so that they don't terrorize the region and all that sort of stuff. Very nice. Mm. So we've got um, uh, varying levels of expertise with um, Savage Worlds here. I know um, Arlen has been playing quite a bit of Savage Worlds uh, with us lately. Um, and then you ran Savage Worlds also recently. Yeah. Jeffrey, have you played any of the Savage Worlds games yet? I think... I can't remember if you played a uh, uh, bad or uh, Deadlands game or not. Uh, I haven't played in the Deadlands, but we have played Savage. Oh, Sa Worlds. Rifts, Savage Rifts, of yeah. course. Yeah, so you've got that uh, under your belt. And then Steve-O, I think the last time we played uh, Savage Worlds was um, Deadlands Noir. Deadlands Noir, okay. Does that sound right? Uh, sure. Yes. <laughs> of course. Clearly nothing but memorable oh, yeah. sessions when me and Steve play together. <laughs> so, um, 13 years of sessions, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot in that whirlpool of yep. knowledge. So what, um, uh, we've got some other heroes up here because we've got some people who are struggling with um, internet connections tonight. Uh, really anything that could go wrong with uh, our, our connections thus far tonight have gone wrong. So um, <laughs> we have someone joining late. So we'll see what uh, we, if we have other heroes join us. But let's start off, guys with uh, reacquainting ourselves with our heroes. So this is the uh, this is winter time, guys, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some downtime. So let's see here. We're going to make use of the interludes rules. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? God dang it. Hold on. I forgot to... Where is it here? I need to set up... 
uh, and you show playing cards. And, oh, dang, I need to do one thing to the setting here, or to the game. Oh, you know what? I bet you I can do this without having to... Go one sec here, guys. Give me two moments. I'm just going to change some settings. I forgot to add something in here. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba a game add-ons. Suede. Mm-hmm. Savage Rolls action deck. There we go. Boom, look at that. Adds it live. Love it. And, yeah, we'll leave that there. So that's all I need. Okay. So, guys, let's um, let's start off. We'll do, give this a good shuffle here. Scroll down. Come on. There we go. Shuffle. Um, and we're going to start with uh, some... Let me put something that's a little less sinister on here. What do we got? Yeah, maybe we'll use that. That's creepy, but not quite as ominous. So the um, downtime, this is going to talk about what um, sort of you're going to bring us up to speed with the prompt from the card for what your characters have been doing with the time. You are, of course, uh, wintering in the small town of Helix, uh, where oh, and we're, our setting, for those who uh, may have be unfamiliar with the Baramese, we're, of course, making use of uh, Greg Gillespie's classic uh, dungeon, uh, or Mega Dungeon, uh, product, Baramese Complete. And, uh, let's start off with, uh, I'm gonna go reverse. We'll start with you there, uh, Arlen. Let's see what Sir Yervain. So, we give you diamonds. Character studies or works on an object of some sort. Uh, what mm. is it? What do you think he's been working on? Hmm. To give you some context, what has been happening, and there has been uh, sightings uh, of some things that have been lur like uh, lurking to the south in the kind of the the area between the uh, the Barrow Moor and uh, Helix itself, and tracks have been getting closer and closer to town. So it's getting very close to the time when you guys are going to have to to really do something about the um, uh, a whatever curious pack is making its way out of the uh, Barrow Moor. I'm not sure if that if he's working on something to that effect or something else. I don't know if he is. I think he might he might have because he was sort of a, a a fairly studious type. He might be um, kind of using the downtime almost to do some sort of like uh, research or um, just even almost almost like like what we would call research, but for him it's reading for fun essentially to yep. to read. You know, like theological texts about Saint Yig, right? Is the the one in yes. the setting? Um, so he might be um, going to the church regularly and just sort of, you know, sitting and reading and 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 just sort of um, researching up on sort of more theological issues than sure. anything else. So why don't we? Um, why don't you give us a uh, an occult role, please? All right. Let's occult. see what uh, benefit you're yielding from this. Nice, with a raise. All right. Uh, so I think what I'll give you is I was going to give you one, but I'll actually give you two re-rolls. So they're kind of like limited bennies, but it has to apply to something that will be the benefit of your research. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can link that. That's what's uh, whatever research you've been doing over the last little while. The the benefit is, is this corpus of... Uh, of knowledge that you put together, that you've been creating, uh, it will give you uh, two uh, free rerolls when you can link it to that. And cool. I'll even let you use that for others as well. If you want to try and, like, if you can think there's a way of, like, Sir Yvain might say, well, actually, you know, let me just ex describe, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, that might be a way of uh, uh, improving that. Um, yeah. But, Nong, you're up next. Let's see here. I right. can draw a card. Uh, I got you. Uh, oh, it, it's it. easier for me to do it just because then I, I know I can be placing them right under your cards. Uh, so Diamonds as well, too. He's been working. Uh, your character has been studying or working on an object of some sort. And you have Biscuit and Bone with you still, too. The two uh, circus dogs or former circus dogs. Hmm. 
Now, I, is this a, are we sort of continuing where we were? Sure. I don't remember. Does it, didn't Badonk find... I can't remember. Didn't he find something? Or they got some kind of a... Or was this in a different game that Badonk was in? Where he had that, like, uh, rusty dog trap... Rusty trap or something that he had found. You remember this? I know it's a long time ago. He had a... Tra I know he had a... Tra Do you mean, like, that ghost trap that he got from the... From the gnomes? Oh, that's what he had. Yeah, he had a ghost trap from the gnomes. Yeah. These... Um. Yeah, maybe he's actually been trying to um study it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not like he's. It would probably be very futile for him, and um, maybe he's um. He wants to impress the gnomes next time he runs into them. Okay. Why don't we do this? Why don't you? I don't think uh, Badonk has any. Uh, no, he doesn't have any. Skills nothing in, in repairs. But why don't you just give us an unskilled check here? You never know if he's just experimenting here and trying to piece together stuff. Maybe he is lucky. Okay. Now you could spend a, a Benny and re-roll that if you like. Uh, um, you are starting yeah, with four yeah. of them. Yeah. And he is lucky. So let's do it. Nice. So go and click on re-roll. Oh, there, sorry. There was a re-roll. Yep. Re okay. Re-roll. Come on, Badonk. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, hilarious. you know what I'm going to let you do is um, I think if you get one more success uh, in a downtime phase like that, then you will get one. You'll start off with a, a repair of 1d4. So, cool. you've been getting, you're getting yourself pretty close to actually figuring out how to get this thing to work. Um, all right. And then, um, last up, Sivo. Yep. Let's see here. So, Warbin a Hearts. So, during the, the first couple of months of winter, Warbin, you've been working on a skill. What skill mm -hmm. have you been working okay. on? Oh, dang. One of my skills, hey? Let's see. Uh, a new one or uh, a, uh, one of the old ones there? Uh, let's see. Um, I've been working on my wild shape. Uh, that is a, a power, a not a skill. Okay. Uh, so, oh, skills. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got you. Uh, fighting, intimidation, notice, persuasion. Uh, I don't really care about persuading people. Uh, survival is pretty cool. Um, I have been working on my, I've been working on my staff work. I've been working on my fighting, been out in the woods, okay. whacking trees with my staff. Sure. Yeah. Maybe you've been, or maybe training with, uh, one of the more martial, you know, members of the, uh, of the party. Um, yeah. so one of the things that, that has, um, so we trying to improve his, um, you know, combat readiness, um, but Donk and, and yeah. you, Sir Yvain have been spending a lot of time indoors. Um, when I think that, um, uh, it is... Uh, Brother Otar will uh, will mention to you, Sir Yvain. Um, and or actually, let's, let's do this. Let's, uh, Werbin, you're coming back from uh, you know some of your training outside. Werbin, would you give me a uh, survival roll, please? Okay, surviving. Yeah. And, uh, trap modifier is nothing. And uh, what happened? I rolled. And. Something will happen, no doubt. There we go. Holy good. smokes, <laughs> Steve. Jesus, 18. Good, good. So here's what Warbin yeah. has picked up. I think that while you were out training, um, you came across uh, a set of tracks uh, to the south of, of town again, but these were pretty well organized, um, or at least there seemed to be quite a few of them. And oh, so I think Steve. I'm sorry, but I need you to turn your your mic down again, because or your volume, because we're getting an awful lot of chirping and stuff from your background. Is that a little better. I think so. Is that better. Yeah, yeah, that's much better. Thank you. Um, so yeah. what um, what you find is that there are barefoot uh, tracks that seem to be bipedal uh, that are south of of town, and they seem to be moving in a fairly organized kind of way 
Like, there's a line of them, but with a roll that good, I can tell you that it's at least a pack of about 12. And this is not the first time you've found this. And this is the closest to town that you've seen them. Um, this, I mean, this is worrying. Anything that's moving out from the barrow maze that is walking bipedal and uh, barefoot in this weather has long since shuffled off its mortal coil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why don't we pick up with you guys meeting up at the uh, Brazen Strumpet uh, for your dinner you know, so, uh, so Yvain, you finished up your studies, uh, Badonk, you've, um, you know, been uh, tinkering away with your the machine uh, and, and some of the tools that had been uh, loaned to you by the uh, gnomes when you guys returned from um, uh, Serene. And you find uh, Badonk is uh, sitting near the fire and he's got a big, you know, stein of beer. His food is mostly untouched and he's looking at kind of staring into the, the roaring fire. You guys will probably come down around the same time. And of course, Badonk, you do it doop, 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 with some flourish as you uh, arrive in the room. One of the uh, waitresses uh, customarily, you know, gives you a little applause as you arrive. Yeah. And, um, but uh, Werbin, do you want to share that, uh, what you found with your colleagues? Absolutely, yes, yes. It, uh, Welcome back, friends. I have been in the woods uh, observing the the movement of the shadows, and uh, it appears as though the shadows are once again coming to life. Yeah, there is movement in the hills there. That is very strange. Hmm. Movement. It is no coincidence that I have arrived again at this time. Seldom is. <laughs> of course not. And what do you mean by the moving shadows? Spirit? Oh, I, I mean undead crawling around. That's, that's what I mean. They're crawling mm, in the bushes. The undead, of course. Of course, of course, Werbin. Oh, Sir Yvain. Come sit, sit, the phrase with me and, and, and hypothesize about the future. <laughs> now, Sir Yvain, I know you have Occult. Uh, Werbin or Badonk, do you guys have Occult as well? Uh, let me check. I don't think so, but... No. Okay. So, Sir Yvain, why don't you give us an Occult roll, please? All right. Let's see how much you know about... Uh... Yeah, meter. So, you may remember that of the sort of the... the, the humanoid creatures that that lurk in the barrow moor you know there's lizard folk uh which are generally uh for the most part um uh in either hibernation or just not active uh, in a state of dormancy over the winter uh, same thing with the uh, bullywugs the the frog folk that uh, that lurk out there um the others that are bipedal who go around are the walking dead the kind of mindless shamblers that you faced, you know, over uh, your many expeditions into the Barrow Maze, they're not generally going to come out in an organized way, but there are the ones that have either even just a flickering bit of cunning intelligence or those that are fully, have a kind of fully formed intellect. Um, those are the ones that prey. Those are the ones that feed. And they may not want to wait out the, the winter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. They hibernate for the winter, do they? Uh, not the dead. Okay. Uh, the dead do not feel the cold of winter the way we do, Werben. They uh, strike at any moment, any moment, especially when our guards are let down by uh, relaxing around the fire and bundling up in warm cloaks now there is one other thing uh this is something that could be ripe for your uh for one of your re-rolls if you like and uh remember mm -hmm. that re-rolls in savage worlds you take the better of whatever you got unless you roll a fumble yep hmm mm -hmm. you want to shoot for a raise or you um 
No, I think it's I think it's a little early. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna be uncharacteristic for me and say <laughs> murder roll for a little longer. Okay. So then, guys, um, what the, I guess you can conclude from the Siri vein uh, is Warbin tells you this: the fr- the tracks are fresh, uh, and it means that they are getting very very close. Uh, it may be a day, it may be a week, but uh, it seems like an attack is coming, and they won't attack like uh, an invading army. Uh, they will come like thieves in the night and make off with, you know, one home's worth of uh, the living. Yeah. Seems, seems, friends, that once again we are called upon to, to blunt the uh, thrust of evil out into civilization. Perhaps tomorrow we should head out into the wild, see if Werbin's tracking skills are still just as good as they always were and see if we can't figure out do some hunting do some do some undead hunting yes all right then what um the weather is definitely uh foul but uh you i think that uh you will certainly be able to uh to weather it at least so long as you're dressed for the you know uh the occasion and hopefully you won't have to lurk far, uh, go far, uh, particularly if uh, if they're hungry and they're uh, coming further and further into uh, towards this. They, that means that their their lair may actually be closer. So we're looking. I've already them. warned the uh, local townsfolk of what I have seen. Okay, so you've, yeah, so then I think that there is sort of a. Uh, if you guys uh, agree to um, to head out and to try and find these things, then the town will all pitch in to help outfit you for it as well, too. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah, so you'll have you will certainly not be uh, be doing this alone. Um, since this is the Barrow Maze, do we want to see if there's any uh, hirelings available too? It is the winter, so the likelihood of it is quite low. I think. Never hurts to check. All Never right. hurts to check. So instead of doing the random things, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it a networking uh, check, guys, but I am going to put a minus four on it. So effectively, you're going to need a raise to be able to find someone here. Um, how do you think, uh, and for those listening at home who aren't familiar with the Pathfinder rules, networking is kind of a, a fun mini game way of, of uh, gamifying the uh, chat around town kind of stuff, trying to get information, trying to get assets. Uh, how do you guys think you want to approach that? Uh, persuasion would be a good way of trying to ask around. Intimidation would be a way of like, you're fucking coming, buddy. <laughs> I don't care if you thought you were waiting here all summer. Uh, or you could try other things. You can get a bonus to your role if you're going to bribe somebody, you know, uh, or offer them some other favorable services. Um, if you use violence, uh, then you may get a bonus to intimidate. Or you might use something else, you know. Maybe there's a different skill. What do you guys think? Well, Orban's the looks of the group, but I don't know that he's got the charm. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Sir Yvain would think that one way to do it might be is not. It's aware that you know, in in the service of good, sometimes we are called upon to do difficult things, and that perhaps the thing to do is um, I can't remember the guy's name. Ost no, Ostin. No, that's, oh, the hiring not. guy, Ostin. Yeah. Yeah, Bruce Willis. Yeah, we go to go to his place, yeah. and if there's anybody there, we tell them about the threat and put put the fear in them and get them a sense of like just exactly how deadly this could be if they don't mm-hmm. you know help mm-hmm. us out right now. Yep, and uh, use my use my sort of knowledge of the the evils that are out there to explain to them just. Just you know, mm. this is your best chance to to survive the winter if you don't like marching through the snow to try to get back to civilization. So here's what I think I'm hearing is uh, it sounds like you're trying to impress with a performance more so than a persuasion. Unfortunately, you do have a former circus performer among you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, what I would let you do is support that uh, though, Sir Yvain, with an occult roll, and then mm-hmm. you can also draw on your re-roll for his role or for your role or both that's that's kind of what i was thinking nice so let's roll your support yeah. role first here let's get us a, an occult role all right occult role a success you get plus one success. to your performance so it's minus three net right now uh yeah. so then badonk if you head over there why don't you give us a performance check please all right let's hear what you're good 
Yeah, and I think it would just be like, you know, Bedonk really uh, acting and adding to um, the story. Um, you know, maybe he's even got uh, Biscuit and Bone trained to, like, do some scary, like, dog howls at the right points during <laughs> Sir Yervain's story. Yes. You know? <laughs> I'll give you a plus one more to that. That's great. So that'll be plus. So the, the uh, Biscuit and Bone are supporting you as well. So you got a net. It's basically a minus two now to your uh, performance. Okay. Can I enter that when yep. I? Yeah. When you, so uh, you just do minus two on the input value. Just minus two, and then if you're adding a number, just put just the number, not the plus sign. Right. Okay. I think this will work. The plus sign will break roll twenty's brain. Look at that. All right. So you got a success. Uh, so you describe this stuff, and you've uh, you definitely have ins have inspired one uh, you know one brave soul who's been kind of lurking around uh, Ostens. And let me, uh, give me, uh, um, one of you guys, a d20 roll, please. Let's see. So this is going to be an extra, which means it's only got 19. <laughs> <laughs> His trait is cowardly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, that's uh, not good. It's funny. So, well, I mean, it would kind of make sense why he was feared into coming with us. Yeah, oh God. Uh, oh God, we gotta go get him. <laughs> what do we think this guy's name is? We can use Cowardly. Yep. Mm, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fred, they're as good as, as I recall, of course, these these red shirts are as good as dead in about five minutes anyway, so. Yeah, <laughs> you don't want to give him too good of a name. <laughs> so uh, how about uh, F uh, Frederick the Fearful? Yes. <laughs> so as soon as Frederick hears, you know, uh, that what uh, um, Werb and his soul said about them dying right away, he's like, what? What do you mean? I, no, no, no. I mean, it's fine. They never die. Yep. All right. But he is, uh, he definitely has uh, agreed to uh, to go along. Frederick. Frederick the Fearful. There you go. Frederick the Fearful. Boom. Alrighty, so good old Freddy. Uh, Freddy will have uh, D6 in everything, um, except for spirit, because he is fearful. So he has a D4 in spirit. Um, Alright, then guys, um, if there's nothing else you wish to do, what we'll do is we're going to use uh, some abstracted rules from um, Savage Rifts that I, I like quite a bit. This will be to track your um, your provisions, guys. So, oh, you know what? Let me create a uh, handout for you. Make an easy way to track. Oh, you know, we got a party loot one here. Maybe we can just use that. Let me bring the handout up. There we go. Orman likes to track. I have no doubt that he does. All right, so the first thing we have, guys, is the supplies will be, um, you'll have a D6 in food and a D6 in um, ammo and a D6 in... Um, water. And water will be relatively easy to replenish as you go along. The D6 will really just rep uh, represent the the containers for it more so than uh, you know actual water because it is it's a place is covered in snow right now. Um, with uh, the cold, so long. I'm assuming you guys have uh, cold weather gear on right now, uh, so you will not be affected by it. Uh, but if you are, if for some reason you lose your cold weather gear. Uh, I will, uh, you'll start after making, you'll start having to make some, uh, vigor, uh, checks to try and, uh, resist the, uh, the poor conditions. Um, let's see here. Oh, actually, no, no, no. You have to roll once a day anyway. Oh boy. Shit. This shit, uh, traveling in this weather is awful. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to use um, another one of the um, uh, the journey uh, rules or the travel rules for uh, for Savage Worlds. Uh, and there's three of you. Let's do this. Um, I think it's going to be 12. Um, you need 12 um, successes uh, or 12 tokens uh, to... Uh, to actually find the the lair so let's do this here uh one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's eight. Nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, I got a, P, got a pie to track our progress here, guys. I think that every two rounds will represent uh, one day. So, and then during that phase, each of you will get a chance to make a roll. Each of you will get a, uh, a card uh, to take an action on. And then depending on what you get, there may be complications. There may be some um, challenges that you'll have to face. So... Let's go to our travel thing here. Anything uh, before you guys depart? Is there anything else you guys wish to uh, to uh, pick up in town? Mm. Any extra preparations you wish to make? Last wills you wish to leave behind? <sighs> yeah, I was scratching him inside of the bar. <laughs> I think I have someone in, maybe in town or somewhere that I trust to leave biscuit and bone with. Because mm -hmm. I don't think I'll take them out in the in the snow. Well, I think that um, um, Mr. Pagans and that uh, that Elven guy. Uh... Yeah. So that's the preparation I would do: is I would take them there and you know bring their food, Alistair. Alistair. Alistair and Mr. Paggins are inside uh, during the this time, and uh, Mr. Paggins and, and the two Biscuit and Bone will definitely be uh, hanging out with him. Yeah. Uh, what so about Sir Yvain or um, Worbin? Anything you guys wish to do? Yeah. Good to go. Okay. All right. Um, I seem to remember I was making friends with the the um the lady acolyte of Saint Yig, Sella, whose name Sella, yeah, near the end of our Pathfinder Two run that I made friends with her. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably um you know go to the the church and tell them that we're off, and you know if I'm not back, you know in some point it warn the town because that means that we're like, we've likely failed and, you know, you'll have to put together another mission, but obviously that won't worry us by that point. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> you guys will have a grim, grim final words, but you know, that's sort of the way Sir Ewan is sometimes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, he's he's just... affected by, you know, seasonal depression and <laughs> winter and all that sort of stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. I think it's it, it uh, could be best described as like a Nordic charm in, in the sense mm -hmm. that it is incredibly dire <laughs> and overly serious. <laughs> if I come, if I do not return, send this on to my next of kin. Something all right. like that, yeah. So I'm just going to bring you guys over to boom, mm -hmm. this here. As is our customary travel thing. All right. So you, Frederick the Fearful, and then um, whomever uh, else. I'm going to take uh, Wes and put him down there for now. I'll put Tanev down here for now as well, because I don't know if Andrew's succeeded in uh, wrestling his computer into cooperation. We'll put Bargle. Oh, actually, uh, George said he wouldn't be in until halfway through, so let's maybe we'll keep Bargle with you for now. Um, actually, I'll put him down here for now. There we go. So, guys, where what we're going to do is, first off, we need to find out if anything of interest happens today. So, I'm going to keep that in a separate deck. Do I? Do I? No, I'll use the same deck, because then we get to see what jokers do. So, um, first we see what's going to be, what the event is for today. Event only happens on a face card. Like that. Mmm. <laughs> so... Spades, oh, hot damn, and it's enemies. <laughs> yes. All right. Yay. So it will definitely be enemies, but um, it will, let's see here. I'm going to let you do one round of actions first. You will not face your enemies uh, until the uh, uh, you get one pass of actions. What each of your days will be, guys, is uh, you will have... Uh, there'll be six actions basically. So you guys, or there'll be two 
cycles. You guys will each be able to take an action, try and get some uh, progress towards the uh, finding the lair, and then after uh, two passes, that's the end of the day. So the sooner you, you find this stuff, the better. If you get a success on the skill you checked, uh, then it is a uh, counts as one uh, towards the 12 you need. If you get two uh, a raise, it counts as two. So for this first pass, let me give you guys, uh, let's see what order you guys are going in here. Werbin, because if you draw clubs, then you have a problem. Badong, because on a three, and Sir Yvain. A two. Okay. Fortunately, no clubs, so there's no complications. So, uh, Werbin, you have the honor of... Uh, well, I guess, hold on. There's one more thing I want to do before we get into this. Um, journeys have different people selecting different roles. Uh, you guys are traveling over land, so you don't really need a pilot. Uh, what you guys need is somebody to be the navigator, and that's probably going to be the person with the best um, survival. And then you, the lookout will be probably the person who has the best notice. And the scout is the person with the best stealth. Mm. All it. right. So I'm not great at any of those things, although my notice is a D6. So that's probably what I'm best at. Yeah. Okay. I'm stealth D8, so I could do the scouting. And mm -hmm. Werbin can be the uh, survivalist. All right, the navigator. Yeah, I'm guessing Werbin has a, a wicked survival. Didn't he roll it already? Yeah. I was like, it's yeah. 8 plus 2. He's got the woodman edge yeah, uh, as yeah, well, too, so he gets plus 2 to his uh, survival. Nice. Werbin, yeah. go ahead and give us another survival check, please. Oh, yeah. Frederick the Fearful will be doing nothing. <laughs> Bring it. Uh... Here it comes. Come on, Werby Werb. I, 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 oh, there you go. Uh, and uh, da down, 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 down. <laughs> Holy smokes! Thirteen. Wow. All right, so you got a raise, which means the lookout and the scout each get plus one to their rolls. So we're been doing such a good job of navigating right now that each of you guys is going to get a plus one to your rolls. Um, who wants to go next? Uh, lookout uh, or the um, scout? Well, I'll go next because there's a good chance I will help. I might even help Arlen with a good roll here. So. Okay. All right, still. With a bonus one. There we go. Come on. Seven. So success, oh, but no close. race. All right. So on a success, uh, you are forewarned uh, about enemies. So you're going to see this this potential enemy coming, just as normal. Nice. Uh, you're not going to be caught by surprise. But also, if you've gotten a raise, just because you may want to spend a, a Benny here as well. If you got a raise, uh, I actually have to draw two encounters, and then you decide. Mm. So it could be like treasure. Mm. It could be... Uh, a friendly NPC. Uh, nope. It, it's it's luck. Godonk's going to trust the single card. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then Sir Yvain, you get a plus one to your All role right. as well. Notice with a plus one. Success again. All right. So it means that you guys kept a good watch, draw encounters as normal. Doesn't mean you can't be... Yeah, it means you can't be ambushed. Um, or so it does not mean you can't be ambushed, but uh, it doesn't mean you failed. So no one's getting, you know, knocked around. So guys, so you, you're making really, a really good headway on this first, you know, uh, first round. So in terms of the the first pass for your skills, guys, this is where um, I, I want you to switch up your skills between uh, phases. So back to back, day to day, you can't roll the same skill. You got to roll a different skill, but then you can go back to the first one you used. Um, and if you, know, you guys do have to sort of pick different skills to use as well, too. Uh, or else you're just supporting someone. And that's one thing you can do too. You can choose to support someone. Instead of taking your action, you can make a roll. Uh, you, if you get a, ra a success, it's plus one to their roll. A raise, is plus two. So what are you guys thinking? Uh, Werbin, like uh, an obvious answer for yours might be survival to track, to follow those tracks deep into the barrel maze. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So why don't you give us a survival roll? Very good. Surviving again. Yep. And you might dum, 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 dum. Nice. Why don't I do this, guys, okay. too? Look, I got an idea here. I haven't used this in other things yet, but let me do this. Uh, move this to the token layer. Go to the token here. And then let's do this. 
Hmm. Sí. Sí. How about this, guys? I got a progress bar for you. Okay. Oh, feels like I'm loading in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's trying to load a web page in 1993. Okay. I do not remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. don't. <laughs> All right. So um, you guys are, are making some progress here. Uh, Warbin, you've made some, you know, you found tracks. Um, You're making your way along here. And um, it's, you know, the, the tracks, you lose them at some point. So, but for the most part, you're making good progress in the direction you need to be going. Um, uh, Sir Badonk, you're up next. Or Sir Badonk. Badonk, Badonk. Um, I think what Badonk is going to do is um, attempt to use his athletic ability. Um, we're traveling more burdened than we normally would uh, out into the barrel maze because it's winter time. So I'm going to try and use my athletics to um, carry more of the load sort of keep the keep Werbin focused on tracking and uh, keep yeah. uh, fearful Freddy there uh, happy <laughs> by um, sort of doing extra extra grunt work today. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So why don't you I buy that? Why don't you give us a, an athletics check, please? I also love the idea of a uh, badonk in a in a like a parka. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little ears <laughs> totally. cut in the side for it. Kept. Or even like like, like stitchings. On it would basically like be like over. like two pairs of, or a pair of mittens. There was holes cut in it, and then mittens sewed into the side. All right, so yeah, that that definitely has helped. Um, you have made some progress here, so you guys are on your way. All right, now what about uh, Sir Yvain? What are you thinking? So we don't have a whole lot of information about what we might be going after seems like some kind of of me trying to you know obviously you know not not the best conditions for doing thinky thinky while walking through the the wilderness mm -hmm. but you know if sir yvain could try to remember some ancient lore or something lore. like that that seems like that might be the the thing that could be helpful for us to get a better idea of like based on especially once i can see the tracks in person that that might help me because werbin's going to be able to point out like what the tracks are and i might be able to say oh hmm, these were from this type of undens of this you can see because they grew claws on their toes yeah yeah like that so i think that when you hit the threshold of the halfway point you may uh you may have a breakthrough and, mm -hmm. and learn a little something about that. But why don't you go ahead and give us... And what are you thinking? Uh, academics or occult? Uh, I was uh, thinking occult or probably... Or common knowledge, whichever seems better uh, uh, appropriate to this. I think probably occult if you're trying to learn something about spe like the specific type of undead here. Yeah, that's good. My occult's okay. better anyway. But yeah. I figured common knowledge might be a uh, necessary to do for sure. something else. But yeah, success. Yeah, all right. You're making some progress here. All right. So then, guys... Let me uh, add one more there. Good stuff. So it's uh, around, you're taking the midway, the um, midday uh, break here. And what, um, let's see here. Why don't you guys um, pick one of you to make a notice check for me? Let's see if something gets a. Uh, do you want me to just do it again, guys, since I'd already done some notice? Yeah, I'm going to be sexy. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, and a raise. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. So I think what, what happens, guys, is you're sitting, you know, you, you found uh, the passage, the, the, one of the frustrating things about pass making passage through the barrel maze is that the water doesn't seem to properly freeze. <laughs> So you're constantly hitting these places where your boots are going through the the thin layer of ice, and you get you know your your boots are full with water, and even though you're wearing probably like good solid boots, um, the constant ice forming on the outside of these things is just a colossal pain in the ass. And and obviously some places there's deeper water, uh, so you're getting like all the way up to your your waist as you break through, or you're spending that extra time trying to get yourself across. You're resting at, at um, the midway point, and um, uh, Frederick is uh, is obviously breathing really, really heavily and, and leaning on um, very much like the scene we're seeing here. There's some 
broken stumps or some fallen trees. He's sitting down on, on one of those. And um, I think, Sir Yvain, you uh, take a moment to go over and you're talking to him because you're the one who rolled the race here. Or actually, you know what it is, is you look over and you can see he's looking a little weary and his eyes are pretty big. And then you see one of the piles of snow next to him kind of shifts. You see little bits of it drifting down and he doesn't seem to have noticed. He's just completely tanked out. He's not paying attention to what's going on, but something is shifting as if something was moving beneath the snow. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to, uh, so I sort of stand up slowly and I look and try to make eye contact with Badonk and Werben to, as like, there's something going on that, you know, pay attention and I'm going to walk over slowly. And, uh, what I'm going to try to do is basically like push him out of the way so that I'm shield up kind of facing whatever is coming out of the snow. You got it. So you push uh, him out of the way and he's like, Hey, what? He's like, we're going, I thought we were resting for another couple of minutes. Yeah. What do you say? And I'll, I'll just sort of jerk my head towards where the, the, the snow is shifting. And he looks back. Uh, why don't you give me a D6 roll, please? All right. Let's see if he notices. Good old Freddy. Yeah, he sees it. He's like, oh, God. And he brings his spear out, leans in. I think uh, Badonk and, and Warbin, you see this uh, happening as well. Mm-hmm. And what sort of... Uh, Sir Yvain, you see what's shifting. And then you realize, like, the, the further length this uh, the... The almost like the entire uh, embankment, all of it is shifting now. And what you see slowly uh, bring its massive head out. Let's see if I can find a. I love when Kevin's describing something and I hear Jeff open up a bottle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's bracing himself. <laughs> We're going to need this. Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this, let me uh, get it placed. And then what you see slowly pull itself out. At first, you think your eyes are just, you know, like you're trying to to place or piece something together here. It doesn't make uh, sense what you're, uh, you know, what you're looking at. Uh, But what slowly rises... It's something that looks akin to this. Oh, whoa. Like a combination of uh, different um, necrotic tissues, giant crab um, shells, uh, and other disgusting bits. And this it all shifts over Ooh. on off of this thing. And what I'd like you guys to do is uh, kindly give me a spirit roll. This will be a fear check. So I think that, uh, Sir Yvain, don't you give a bonus to that? Um, I don't know. Let's see. I think your aura of courage gives a plus one to fear checks. Aura of courage. Allies within give plus one to fear checks. So yeah, allies cool. within short range or whatever. Ten, ten inches is what it says. So that means uh, each, of, each inch is uh, three yards. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. I think everybody is within that range. Yeah, yeah. Um, do I get that bonus, or do I have to make do with my regular uh, die? Does it say you or all allies? Um, let me double check. I already closed it. <laughs> it just says allies. Allies. So, no, you. Um, your presence is rallying them, but unfortunately, you have to face this on your own. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice. Uh, I no was problem. Even worried. So wait, we roll. We click on the little scared guy at the top. Yes. Yep. And I get plus one. Then plus one to it. Yep. Nice. Uh, and someone give us a D six plus one roll for uh, Frederick the fear. Oh uh, no, sorry, D four because he is fearful. D four plus one. Okay. D four plus one. No. Oh! Four. Would you get a four? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So he succeeds as well. 
All right, guys. So then, let's see here. Do we have something a little more? It's been so long since we played this game, and we've moved on to so many other tracks since then that uh, it is. Ooh, this will do, though. All right, guys. So, here's the way it works. is I'm going to be drawing cards for everybody. Uh, I can get rid of this now, because I know what our encounter is. This thing is obviously hostile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Werbin... Oh, I got the wrong... Dang, the wrong deck here. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Werbin. Yes? On a, uh, I got ten of... Uh, diamonds. Badonk got a seven of spades. Uh, one of you guys can control Frederick and he'll just act on your card. Um, Sir Yvain, you got a four hearts and the critter is acting on a six of diamonds. So you guys can spend a, um, a Benny uh, to get a second card. All right. So I... I have a, a command edge. Okay. Um, so it seems like maybe I should control Frederick. Okay. Um, and I think I will spend a Benny for another card because I want to go before this thing. Okay. So let's see here. Seven hearts. Nice. There you go. Let me subtract down to two. Okay. Um, all right. So then if anyone, is, no one else is uh, buying new cards, uh, Werbin, you're up first. What are you doing, Werbin? This thing is about uh, maybe about uh, 10 yards away from you right now. Is it? Yes. That's a good blasting range now, isn't it? It is. I think I shall blast it. All right. Blast it, hands. So you go ahead and click on your bolt uh, power, please. Okay, any modifiers? Uh, no modifiers, I don't think. Very good. And so hold on, Dave, before, wait, 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 and it's lightning, right? Lightning is what you're shooting? Yeah. All right, uh, so that is a success. And uh, I think I got Bolt in here. All right, so the, what the Bolt, 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 uh, it has a hit, but not a raise. Uh, so then okay. go, go ahead and click on roll damage there. On, and the results, uh, or the uh, chat. Okay, roll damage, uh, did you Four. So you don't get to apply bonus damage. Uh, now, what you could do, Steve, is you could spend a Benny and re-roll damage. Um, uh, and how many Bennies do we have? You have three right now. I have three. Yep. I'm feeling deliciously eager to re-roll, so I shall spend a Benny. <laughs> okay. Re-roll me. I'll get rid of your I'll count your Benny down for you. All right. And two D six plus zero. Let's go and hit it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, so you unleash this <laughs> lightning, and it plays over this thing's hide, but it doesn't seem to be affected in the least. <laughs> what? What? All That's right. And next up is Sir Yvain and Frederick the Fearful. What are you doing? All right. So um, Sir Yvain is going to shing, draw his sword, okay. and ready his shield. Both, neither of those are actions. You can re draw a weapon, and you can ready a wep You can ready two things per round as free actions. Yep, yep. And then he is going to put smite on his sword. <sighs> now, I think for... paladins, just like uh, monks in this, so this is something worth for those who are listening at home who have not seen Savage Pathfinder yet. Um, in Savage Pathfinder, the way that some of the classes uh, get to Im uh, manifest their powers, they just pay a cost. They pay the cost for it, and they get the basic level of the ability, or they pay extra to get it with a raise. Um, the, and both of those, I believe, are free actions as well, too. Oh, are those free actions? I think so, yeah. Let me uh, double-check the uh, uh, phrasing for... Uh, I know it is for, uh, for monks. Oh, well then. I think it's... I've just got all sorts of things I can do. Mm -hmm. As a limited free action, you can invoke oh. one of the following miracles. Boost trait, uh, healing, relief, and smite. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, so I'm going to do smite at um, with a raise. So that's cost me three okay. to get plus four damage with yeah. my sword. And this is so a supernatural creature, so your champion edge would also apply Oh, nice. I'm going to do so much damage if I can connect. Yep. Um, 
So then I'm going to, so, um, and then I'm just gonna hold to smack it if it comes close to me. I'm closest to it, I'm assuming, because yep. that's sort of what we narrated. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I have to make an athletics roll to interrupt if it exactly. comes Exactly, yep. Yep, yep. And then Frederick, he's gonna get behind me and he's got his spear and he's gonna sort of try to like attack over my shoulder, sure. poke at it. Yep, and I think it's, I might be confusing the, the systems, but I think that he uh, has reach if he's using it with two hands. So he can okay. literally stay behind you. Well, yeah, that's what I was. That's why I was picturing. So, yeah, that's good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so right. then, uh, Badonk, you're up next. What are you doing? Um, I think that this round, Badonk is just going to um, maybe even uh, sort of stealthily like set his pack down and move around to try and. Um, Give us a strategic position where he can charge in on this thing, sort of from the side. So, sure. sort of start to move around the flank it a little. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Because if you do get uh, flank, like there is a thing called gang up bonus. So if you can get more than one of you on it, you get a bonus equal to the and that like basically the number of, of allies attacking minus one. Nice. Okay. I mean, it's also thematic, and I'm picturing like we talked about that um, the sort of monk. Um, stunning fist that he's got to help against big enemies like this so, so and that's a, that's a, so the cool thing is that definitely is something handy against big enemies however undead are often immune to stun mm, that's true yeah mm -hmm. so then um we got sir Yvain with his sword out blazing with holy power uh then it is this thing's turn so with Werbin's lightning playing across it it comes charging in <laughs> snow falling off of its back and uh, what I need to do is uh, make an athletics, a contested athletics check. This thing yep. is a wild card. And one cool thing with wild cards in um, Savage Pathfinder is that uh, uh, they get three, um, what do you call it? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, uh, three ba bennies, uh, on, like, just like mm. regular characters instead of two. Normally NPCs who are wild cards get uh, uh, two bennies. So... Mm. Uh, let me see here. The oh, hold on, I, check this. I, I rolled a five for my athletics. Okay. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me. Where is he? Yep, that'll do. All right, so my athletics. I'm rolling. Oh boy, d12. Okay, uh, I got a five as my highest. Hmm. I think. Let's see here. Ready? Oh boy! I can't remember who ties go to. Let's see. Uh, ready, ready, ready is in the combat section. Here we go. Ready. Nope, it's not called ready. What is it called? What is it called? Oh, yes. Uh, one thing to remind is, well, there is a wild attack, and there's also something called a desperate attack uh, in this. Uh, desperate attack is when you take um, uh, a bonus to hit up to, I think, plus four, and you only take an equal amount of uh, penalty to your damage in addition to the wild attack uh, that's in there. Hold. That's what it's called. Not ready. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. Actions are simultaneous. So uh -oh. as you crash into each other. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and make your attack roll. Let's see what happens All to him. All right, my attack roll with the sword. No modifiers. Oh, that's uh -oh. terrible. I'm going to spend a Benny on that. Please do. All right, down to one. And reroll this. All nice. right, an eleven. With a raise. So its parry is uh, an eight. Uh, so it's not quite a raise. Yep, but that's okay. Still, that's, it's a hit though. So a hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, toughness. Right. And hold on. What's your AP on your uh, attack? Uh, AP on my attack. I don't. Think I don't think I you have, have any. any. Yeah. AP, yeah. No. So one of the no, neat no ways, AP. you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. One of the neat ways they model uh, masterwork 
uh, in this stuff. I'm assuming by this point you guys are about mid-level he uh, heroes, lower mid-level heroes. You would each have um, uh, masterwork weapons, so I'll let your mm -hmm. sword do uh, AP of uh, 1. All right, I will put that in. Okay. AP 1. All right, so I have AP 1 on my sword, and I get um, a total of plus 5. No, plus 6 for plus 4 for smite and plus 2 for uh, champion. Right? Nice. So then um, you're rolling against a toughness of 15. Go ahead. All right. Roll damage. Miss damage modifiers of Come 6. On. Nice. <laughs> I, you've nice. shaken it. Awesome. All right. So let me put a uh, our universal shaken uh, token on it. But it does get to make its attack on you. Uh, yep. What is your parry? My parry is a 9. 9. Pretty awesome. Because I got my shield. Yep. Pretty great. Okay, so it's fighting, and it is a oh, card. Let's see here. So I need a nine. I need to. Oh, don't want to spend Benny. I'll spend one Benny to re-roll. Let's see here. Nope. So it comes crashing in, trying to get at you, uh, and it <laughs> tried to basically like ram you with its using its head as a battering ram. Uh, you brace your shield. You knock to the side, and you you know uh, slam your glowing sword down onto it. <laughs> and this thing is. Uh, definitely uh, shaken. All right. Mm -hmm. Next round, guys. Seer Werbin. Badonka Donk. Sir Yvain. And the Critter. Whoa. Oh. So, anybody spending uh, bennies to get a new card? Mm, doesn't seem very fruitful. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. All right. So then this thing, I need to make a. Um, it's undead, which means it gets a bonus to uh, recover from being shaken. Mm. Uh, so let's see here. And in Adventure Edition, if you make a successful uh, vigor uh, check, uh, then or some uh, spirit check, uh, you are able to act freely. I'm able to act now. So this thing <laughs> shakes itself, and then it's going to bring up its massive fists and try and bring them down on you. So, first fist coming down. Uh, let's see, I'll roll it raw, and I'll save the wild die for the other one. Oh, so close. Uh, it <laughs> hits your shield. And then... Oh, I got an exploding dice. Nine! Just on the oh. nose. <clears throat> uh, what is your toughness? My toughness is a nine, and three of that is armor. Okay, um... This is, uh, ha let's see here, uh, no AP, so you don't need to worry about All right. that. All right, so then this thing brings us down. You said it was a nine in total? It was a nine. Ooh, I rolled a 13. Uh-oh. So you are shaken and potentially suffer one wound. Now, yeah. one thing, I'll, let's talk about quickly your healing resources. Each of you guys has two minor healing potions. You can quaff that to restore one wound. Uh, you also have your Lay on Hands ability as well, too. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, first choice you get to make is, uh, if you want to spend a Benny, you can make a uh, Soak Roll. Uh, you are shaken, uh, for sure. Mm -hmm. so we'll put I think it's a good, I think this is a good time to, to spend the Benny for the Soak Roll, for, to not take the wound and take the penalty. Yeah, yeah. So, I will do that. Okay. Um, and I will, so all give right, us so. give a Vigor check here. That means I am at zero Bennies. Okay. And here is my Soak. Nice. There we go. Yep. So yeah, you don't it you are made of very stern stuff and are not affected by this thing. Uh nice. that is the end of the critter's turn. Uh next up is Sir Yvain. What are you doing? All right. Uh am I still because I soaked, did I uh soak the shaking or just You did not. No. Uh soak uh you soaking only gets rid of um wounds. Uh-huh. Let me make sure you're making me double check or uh, second guess it now. I think it only uh uh, gets rid of wounds. So you still have to deal with it being the uh, uh, the shaking. Oh, it, it's a if the character soaks all of the wounds from an attack, he removes his shaking condition too. Nice, excellent. So awesome. Yeah, that's so, great. Um, all right, so then I will I will do my best to smack him. Please do. Uh, you are still um, benefiting from smite as well. Yep, and I've got I got a couple more rounds of that. So let's do uh, this. His, uh, the parry <laughs> is an eight. I, yeah, I rolled a three and a four, so. Oh, so 
Um, it, it, you know what? I mean, this thing is all jagged edges and weird tentacles and shit like that. So, to, and that was a solid hit you just took. Uh, so, uh, it maybe makes sense why you um, were not able to land a, a blow here. But Donk, you're up next. What are you doing? Okay, so now Badonk will close in on the side of this thing and uh, help Sir Yvain out. Okay. So one thing you did, uh, now one of the things we haven't talked about yet is multi actions. Um, now Badonk, just like Sir Yvain, can choose to use some of his. Uh, let me do this here. To back. To back. There we go. I just wanted to make sure you be able to see your uh, what he you called uh, your. Uh, PowerPoints. Um, you can use your PowerPoints to do like a smite or something else, or boost any of your traits uh, that that you so can. So to hit on my roll fighting, is this yes. correct? Yes. Yep. So and I can spend a point to boost my fighting. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, you can uh, spend. Okay. What is it? Whatever the cost of boost is. Uh, and that would be listed under under the power boost. Costs two power points. It'll raise your fighting by one dice. If you spend three power points, it'll raise it by two dice. Okay. That oh, line. like two dice, meaning like if it's um, a D from D eight to D ten, D ten to D twelve. That correct. Kind of thing. Yep. Okay. Um, I will spend two points and raise it once. Okay. So then you see, adjust it on your sheet, and we'll just put it back to normal afterwards. Oh, okay. So she's so gonna go into the edit and then uh, change that. Right. All right, and what do we see as as uh, Badonk is kind of you know focusing his martial power? I think that worked. Um, he, uh, I, I think you actually see him sort of. Um, he he uh, runs his thumbs along the inside of his teeth, and uh, sort of draws a little bit of blood on his thumbs, and then he smears it on his knuckles as he moves in nice. on the uh... very cool all right so you race in now what you could do is you could do a multi-action you could do uh if you wanted to attack more than once uh you could take a minus two uh to all actions and do two attacks uh well let's just start with the one attack yeah if i can land on I, I, i'm not sure but i'm not sure how hard this thing is to hit yet, sure so he's so the parry is an eight which means you need an eight to hit it but you also have the gang up bonus of plus one now which okay. your Sir Yvain will also enjoy. Okay, so fighting. Yep. This mod plus one. Oh, Steve, whoa. buddy, we're getting whoa. a lot of noise from you. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry, there's a there's a train that's just going off here. Whoa! I was gonna mute. Hold on. Okay. Thanks. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Got a second here. Okay. Oh, I got a nine. You said an eight, right? Uh, yes, that's a hit. Go ahead and roll yes. damage. Uh, the so what what is uh you don't have any AP for your fist, so it's a sixteen you're rolling against. Holy shoot! Okay. Mm. Oh, um, but if I okay, so even if I spend a key point for smite, it doesn't increase AP. Uh, yeah, smite does not increase AP, but it kind of works out the same. What AP allows you to do is to ignore if certain things have armor, like Sir Yvain's got three points of armor on him. If I have an AP two thing, I get to ignore two points of that armor. It means I get to roll, you know, the number I get to hit is, is better. Just doing f more damage, like with a smite, uh, that means that you're just, you're adding that to the result. It's better than having AP because it just adds to the final result rather than ignoring part of what might be the toughness. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. All right. So we roll unarmed strike. Here we go. No. Okay. Now here's the thing. So you didn't get a raise. Uh, eight. You hit this thing. It is like a freaking tank. Oh, you, Jeff, you rolled. So when you clicked unarmed strike, you rolled another fighting attack. You should click the roll damage. Yeah, when you're so when you when you. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. all the weapons are set to roll. Um, the correct thing. Exactly. So just click, if you're making an attack with one of your weapons or one of your powers, just use that. Go ahead oh, now. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage now. Okay, sure. Here, here it comes. Big money. Come on. I see. I see how it works. Oh. 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 If only. If only you got the raise. Oh my God. Now you you can spend a uh, Benny and uh, re-roll damage if you want. Um. Okay, sure. Because this is a tense fight, so yeah. let's do it. 
it seems pretty tough. Come on. Here it comes. Here it comes. It's jeez. Uh. Trying to hammer this thing. All right, and it just doesn't seem to want to give. Warbin, you're up next, buddy. Hmm. What does my smite do? Uh, so smite gives you a tier damage. One thing I'll point out, uh, Steve, is one of the uh, ways that um, this edition, like the Venture Edition, differs from the other ones is you get to um, change your powers on the fly quite handily. So knowing how heavily armored this sucker is, yeah. you see these options here that I'm pointing out? You could spend an extra power point into your bolt, and for every one point you put into it, it gives you an AP of two. You could do a maximum of three. So if you put three extra power points into your bolt, uh, you could yeah. wow, uh, toss it out and um, you could have it ignore six points of armor. In addition to that, if you look on your bolt ability, if you juice in an extra, what is it here? An extra two points, you can also make it be a 3d6 damage instead of 2d6. And on a raise, it does 4d6. Dang, son. So would that be for a total of five power points? Total of five power points. That's a big, big hit, but... Now let's see. Now how many power points do I have again? Where's my power points? You have point? ten so far. Oh, you forgot to take the ones off last time. You would have nine right now. Nine right now. Boy, oh boy, that's, that's, that's pricey, but you know, it just, it's just so... Just, you just make it sound so juicy. Uh, <laughs> I am... Um, I'm going for it. I'm going to do it. Where's my thing there? All right. So no right. Bring your hands together and like lightning begins to f f like pulse from your eyes. It's forming in your hand like some kind of, you know, furious uh, living thing that wants to get free. And then you uh, unleash it. Go ahead and give us max out on this bastard. Yeah. Click I'm on your, on now. Uh, click on All your right. bolt. Now, right. Yeah, that's bolt now, is it? Okay. Bolt. Yep. Modifiers. Uh, no modifiers. Okay. Just submit this bastard. Here we yep. go. Here we go. Eat it! Booyah, Shaka! Seven. Very nice. That's a hit. Yeah. Uh, and then... Uh, oh, hold on. It didn't roll. Uh, it did not... Oh, it did roll. Yeah, your faith. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so go ahead and roll damage then. So this will be three d Yep. It says the bolt already causes 3d6 damage. No, no, it causes 3d6 on a raise. Uh, you did okay. not get... Raise would be an 8. When you roll 4 higher oh. than... Very close, but... All right. right. Go ahead and roll, roll damage. Roll damage. And we're going to add... And yeah. it just so that d6. is a total of 11. But because of your AP, there's a small crack in its shell that forms you have successfully shaken this thing. Oh, yeah. What's up? <laughs> All right, guys. So that Crazy. is the end of round two. Now, uh, does uh, Frederick want to make an attack? Oh, yeah. Well, I just realized we haven't done anything with Frederick. Frederick should make an attack with his spear. <laughs> Good. 1d6. Uh, <laughs> so he, he is not a wild card, which means he only rolls 1d6. Go ahead. His All very right. long spear, I will point out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he doesn't connect. Does not connect. No, unfortunately. I think I'm going to smoosh Frederick next round. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that seems very barrel maze to do. All right. <laughs> so this thing is shaken. All right. Let's uh, see what our, everyone's acting. Warbin uh, on a nine of uh, clubs. Badonk, a four of uh, clubs. So you've been two oh. of clubs. Come on, Madison. And a king. <laughs> king Conan as well. All right, everybody gets a... Uh, you guys are facing a pretty fearsome th uh, opponent. We're almost uh, an hour into the... Well, a little more than an hour into the game. Everyone gets a Benny. Then, does anybody want to spend a Benny on um, their... Uh, what do you call it? On uh, replacing their cards? Or is this thing going to try and sh recover from Shaken? I'm good. So one thing to look at for those of you in melee as well too. Remember there are those other attacks like a wild attack gives you plus two to hit, plus two to damage, but it makes you suffer uh, or makes you vulnerable. So you are uh, they get a plus two to hit you in return. But especially for tough opponents like this, it's not worth uh, not a bad uh, idea. Alrighty then. Um, all right, so then I guess it's its turn. Unless anyone's spending any points, going going gone. He is going next. So he's gonna try and recover. I'm gonna make a roll here. He's undead, he gets plus two. He 
<sighs> He's not pleased with you, Werbin. Uh, Naturally. So I do get to act this turn as well. Um, I think one fist is going to come down towards Sir Yvain. Your parry is a nine. I miss. <sighs> Once again, you keep it, knock that thing to the side, and it does not manage to connect on you, and then this fist hurls it at you. Badonk, what is your parry? Uh, an eight. I'm going to guess it's not a one, so you easily oh. deke and duck out of the way of this thing. It's far too large and clumsy for you. Werbin, you're up next. Me again, eh? All you right. Can. So that's, mm, that well, seems... That was crazy last time. Uh, and does, does now do I actually have a smite? What's my what's up with my smite? So smite is something you could do to charge up the, uh, the and do the uh, increased melee damage from your um, what do you call it uh, from your uh, your staff. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, other abilities you have include. Let's see here. Uh, Warp and Silverstone. So other powers that you have access to whoop, include. Entangle, which could actually make this thing easier to hit uh, for, uh, for the guys. Um, you okay. can manipulate uh, elements. So you got elemental manipulation ability. Um, there is protection, where you could uh, increase the armor for yourself, and you can also spend extra power points to armor up your allies. That stacks okay. with existing armor. Uh, you could also shape change. Hmm... I don't know. What if I try to hit it with my staff just to see what happens? Sure. So you're gonna run in. Uh, do you want to uh, activate smite as well? Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's do okay. It. So go ahead. Uh, yeah. Smite costs. Uh. Well, what one? I think. Okay. Let's see here. Uh. So smite is successful. No raise. That means you get plus two. Uh. To the uh, damage. Uh, and that, uh, what does Smite cost? Smite cost one, guys? Okay. Uh, no, two. Smite cost two. Yeah. Oh, does it cost two? Yeah, so you're down to two power points. Well, Here's one of the cool energy. things, though, uh, with uh, Savage Pathfinder. If you want to try and cast something and you don't have the power points, now, uh, obviously, Badonk and Sir Evan, you can't do this because you're not rolling, but Werbin could try uh, whatever amount of power points he doesn't have access to, just take it as a penalty to the spellcasting roll. And you can still try and cast it. Interesting. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so then, Werbin, you go racing in. Rah, try and hit this thing. You're in melee with it as well. The gang up bonus is now a plus two. So go ahead oh. and make a fighting check there, Werbin, at plus two. Is that staff or is that... Uh... Uh, no, it'd be... Yeah, click on the staff. That's right. Yep, yep. Because there is a fighting roll, but I, you click on the staff, though. Okay. Yeah, click on the staff and, and it'll make the fighting roll for you. Okay, give us a two. Good. Any more bonuses because of smite? Uh, nope. That's a smite is to damage. Okay. So you got to hit first. Come on. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Eleven. Solid hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Rolling and now damage. add All plus right. two. Your plus two modifier to damage. All right. Here we go. Plus two to damage. Two. Oh. Here it comes. Rock and roll. Smoke it out. <sighs> nice. Oh shit! So you hammer this thing's hide. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not get through. Uh, it's, you're hitting like it's like hitting the size of a, like the side of a boulder. Uh, but don't get of six. Eh? Okay, All you're right. up next. What are you doing? Um. Okay, so I also can have smite, and that's something that I spend more um, key points. Yeah, you spend key points on two automatically. You spend two points to uh, get plus two to your hand to hand damage. Uh, or you could add, uh, spend three and get plus four to your hand-to-hand -hand damage. I think I kind of noticed how tough this thing was, and so I'm going to do that. So yeah. I'm going to spend three more power points. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then that's plus four. And yeah. then he's going to even go one step farther and wild <laughs> attack. Awesome. Nice. All right. So, so you, that's plus two fighting and plus two damage. Yep. And you also get plus two from the gang up bonus now. Right. Okay. So, so all of you guys are surrounding this thing. Ah, you got Frederick there too. It's actually plus three. Frederick's engaged now. So. So plus three. Yep. Gang up. Plus two for the wild attack. So that's plus five to my fighting attack. Yep. 
There it comes. Come on. Yes. Solid hit. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. And remember to add and your is... plus uh, six from the plus smite. Plus six and... yep. yep. Come right. on. Okay, come on, damage. Here we go. But Donk has seen how tough this thing is. <laughs> oh! Nice. All right. Uh, oh, you got no AP on this, though, do you? No. Do you want to re... Oh, that's a pretty good roll for damage, though. I know. Oh, do you want to spend a uh, Benny to re-roll damage? Um, now, one thing I didn't mention as well is you could have... And tell me if you would this would have affected how you would have uh, activated your smite. You could have spent extra points to give it AP. Just like what, oh, what Worben like did as well. Oh, that's part of it? Yep. Oh, okay. It's the cool thing with Adventure Edition. They've really embraced the idea of just like, fuck it, like let your... Let the, the those who have powers kind of customize them how they want. Oh, I see. Okay, I wasn't sure if like because I'm using if I had access to that armor piercing or not. You definitely do. Yep. Anything that uh, that can be applied to yours. So like fatigue could also be added or uh, lingering damage. I mean, probably because um, I've seen how tough this thing is, and yep. it's. It's quite frightening, and so I think I would have spent. So that's another point, right? Uh, every point, uh, up to three points, every point gives you AP of uh, two. Oh. And that goes okay, for so you, Sir Yvain, as well, too. Your your smite uh, could have done that as well. I'll do, two, I'll do two more points. I'll save three points in reserve. Okay, so it's AP four. That means that thing, <laughs> you've cracked it. It is shaken now. Nice. <laughs> All right, then it is Sir Yvain's turn. Okay, so my boost trait, um, let me read what it says um, real quick. So, uh, so basically, same as what Benong says, it's just it, thematically it'll be something different. You can raise your one of your traits of the, I think it's like fighting or vigor or strength. Uh -huh. Strength affects yeah, the damage got, you do. Yep, I've got fighting, vigor, strength uh, as things that I can boost. And a boost costs... Uh, Boost costs two power points. It looks like okay. So it'd be yeah. two to raise it up to, uh, to to raise it by one dice. Uh, three to raise it by two. Uh, all right, and then and then that's one of my free actions, right? As a paladin. Absolutely. Yep. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call upon Saint Yig and the Futurist, and that that glow, that holy glow that is upon my long sword, it kind of comes down and runs down my arm and across my shoulders and over my whole body, and I can feel just so much better at smacking things yeah. as I get up to a fighting D twelve. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. And spend three power points on that. So let okay. me let me spend the power points minus three. Okay. And then uh, I set up the damage for my smiting sword. So let's see if this rolls correctly. Okay. And I guess I'm spending a bitty because oh. that's terrible to spend yeah. all that stuff on it. Yeah, so. really. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did that include the plus three from the gang up bonus? That did not, but that's only a six. That's only a six then. Yeah, so I'm going to spend my Benny, and I will re-roll with the plus three this okay. time. Here we go. Uh, zero. Re-roll with the plus three. Put in. Nice. That's a hit. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Rolling damage. Come on. Here we go. Oh. oh! So it's AP one. You're three off. Do you want to re-roll damage? Uh, I don't have any Bennies left. That was my last one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. But, Do you think that your careful studies would have included about the types of insidious undead lurking ooh, in the room? That is very true. This is a nasty sort of thing that somebody might have written about. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think it would. I think I would have read about this creature. This is this is special enough that I think I've read something about whatever this creature is, and, and I've heard you know there was like an adventuring party that got uh, cut down by one of these. And yep. Um... All right. Yes. Excellent. So that actually, uh, with your AP, that's actually uh, in, uh, you've got one, so it would have been shaken. It's the, because of the size of the thing, two results of shaken don't give it another one, but that counts as two wounds. 
Nice. So let's do, uh, what are we going to do here? Uh, oh, you know what I'll do here? I'll do this. Boom. All right. So what do we see as you bring this thing down? So Sir Yvain, he kind of he kind of pulls the sword back and then thrusts right into like into this sort of fleshy section, and there's sort of a blaze of light around his sword as it connects, and nice. the thing you know howls in pain, and a Sir Yvain lets out a fearsome war cry, and uh, <laughs> nice. yeah, and a prayer to because uh, your god is actually uh, Arcan uh, Arcantral, isn't it or? Oh, I think so. Maybe it's yeah. been a while since I played Sir Yvain. Yeah. So I'm just praying to the whole futurist and whoever listens. Is Hell yeah! <laughs> Anybody <laughs> help me? Um, okay, once again. All right, and wounds. then uh, what's his name? Frederick. He can make his attack too, right? So he knows get yeah, and this thing now gets plus two or minus two to all its trait rolls. Frederick does not connect. Nope. <laughs> Uh, now, what Frederick could do that might be more productive, remember, Frederick c can support. Mm, that's true. That's true. He could support. So yep. maybe next turn he'll do that. Yep, yep. So let's do one mm. more. Um, I, I think that this is not, we're going to be over uh, pretty soon. So let's just push through, see if we can defeat this thing. And then we'll take our mid-session break. Uh, oh, Werbin gets it. Everybody gets a Benny because nice. Werbin got a Joker. So you each get a Benny. Oh, nice. But Donk is on a Queen. Sir Yvain is on an Eight of Hearts and the Critter. Eight of Spades. So Spades mm -hmm. is comes before Hearts. Uh, Sir Yvain, you're, you're spending a action or a uh, Benny. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna spend the Benny. Try to get another card because I got a plan. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh it didn't pay off. Well, you get the eight. Oh, well. You get the better of the two, so yep. not. Uh, well, that not, still puts me at last in the round. It does. Yeah, yeah. Now, Werbin, here's the benefit of the of the Joker. You get plus two to all your rolls this round. Uh, you get another Benny, so you're back up to three, and uh, you can act whenever you want in the in the round. Sweet. Uh, so, interesting. Uh, plus two to all my rolls. Hey. Yep. When would you like to act? Do you want to go first? Do you want to go? Uh, me as well. And now with the entangle, how how expensive is that? Is that one energy? Uh, entangle uh, is. Let's see here. I got my cards out, but I did not. Nope, oh, that's still in the. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Entangle at base costs. Oh, sheepers. I don't know where I put it. Okay. Entangle. Two points. No, no. Then I'll be out of points, and then that's that's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the thing. All right. What do you think? Well, and Entangle's automatic. Well, well here's what you could do, Steve. My... Steve, uh, remember you can choose to undercast. So you could spend, you could lose, um, you know, spend no uh, power points and take a minus two to your roll. But because you're Joker, you're getting a plus two, which means you'd be rolling Entangle with no modifier, and it costs you no power points. Dude, I love the way you think. Let's do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Give us right. roll on entangle. Let's see. Entangle. All right. For no power points. Okay. Eat it. Nope. No oh, shit. Now you have three bennies. You want to spend a benny and re-roll that? Yeah. Go ahead. Roll again and What's up with that. Oh, with a raise. So that means um, with a raise, he is now bound. And bound, I believe, is vulnerable. Ooh, bound right. are, yeah, they are vulnerable. They cannot take physical actions other than trying to break free. Um, and they are distracted. Minus two. So he's got minus four to all of his uh, trait rolls. And he is completely bound. So am I correct in thinking these are roots that have come up, Steve, to entangle this thing? Correct. That is exactly what has come up as roots from the local trees and bushes. Yeah. All right. So uh, you, what you see is um, the uh, eight. Yeah, so it would have been a raise. Um, you see bursting from the ground and <laughs> twisting and, and uh, uh, carving around this thing. Let's bring Bargle up. He's been hanging back. Oh, we got to get uh, the uh, thing here for... Oh. 
go. Oh, <laughs> Drew's hair dog. <laughs> I actually clicked on something here. Oh, boy. All right. So, what, um, yeah, what you, so then, uh, Badonk, what you see is that these, these, um, vicious, like, tight roots go up and twirl and swirl around this thing, and it <coughs> pulls it right down. And it's, uh, some of that, that goop from where, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, from where, uh, Sir Yvain has struck it, spills out onto the pristine white snow. So, Bargle, what you have just walked into... Yeah. You're like, guys, did I miss any? Oh my god! What is that fucking thing? <laughs> that Everything's totally fine, right? This creature that you see before you is um, currently bleeding from a massive wound that Sir Yvain has rent in its uh, chitinous uh, body. Um, and it is completely encased right now, or, or dragged down to the ground by um, entangling roots that Werbin has brought up from beneath the snow. Let me give Ooh. you a card here. Oh. Joker, <laughs> welcome. See, you <laughs> there we go. Plus two to on your rolls this round. Everybody gets a Benny as well. Sweet. All right, Steve. I'll top up your Benny for you, bud. There we. Oh, no, just got rid of it. Oh, there we go. Bennies. All right. So then, um, with this thing <laughs> pulled into place. Uh, it is, uh, so it's easier to hit now, guys. You only need a six to hit it. Um, so the next up, I suppose, is <laughs> Bargles coming in big. With a Joker Bargle, you get plus two to all your actions, and everyone gets a Benny, and you get a choice of when you want to act. Okay. Uh, I feel like I should act now, since, uh, I've just stumbled into, uh, the midst of this <laughs> battle. Yep. Um, uh, I'm gonna try, uh, a bolt. Okay. Gonna uh, fire what, a bolt. What is the thing. default uh, trappings for Bargle's bolt? Do you think it's uh, a, like a magic missile? Is it fire? Is it electricity? Uh, it's this weird, like black energy. Okay. It's kind of like misty, like like a like a ball of blackness with like m black mist kind of like coming off it. Okay. Is it something that is it like acidic? Is it? Uh, is um, it just like right the, in terms of. It's magic. It's force. So it's like needle it's sharp just, kind of shit like, that just tears in? Yeah, exactly. Okay, sounds good. All right, so then go ahead. Now, remember, with, so here's one thing that the guys have learned. This thing has very, very tough hide. So as a reminder, just like in uh, in uh, Savage Pathfinder, uh, just like in regular Savage Worlds, you can make use of, here we go, power modifiers, which are in the handout there. Okay, you have it there. Perfect. Yep. So you, um, the guys have been yeah. using uh, armor piercing to great effect with their abilities. I will definitely do that. Um, so let's see. Uh, I can do it in a range. I have plus one to, or it can be anywhere from plus one to plus three. Um, okay, I will do... Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at my... I want to make sure I understand how many... Uh, power points I have. You have 15. Uh, 15. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so uh, I'll just, just spend um, one to make it a uh, armor piercing two. Okay. And then you're uh, at default it's 2d6 and 3d6 on a raise. You can spend two extra points uh, to make it do 3d6 or 4d6 on a raise as well. Uh, I'll, I'll hmm. I'm afraid to spend too much. Uh, right off, right off the bat. So just in here's case. another neat thing that they do in Pathfinder, uh, Savage Pathfinder. If you want to short the cost, you can take a penalty to your spell casting check. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what's the penalty? Uh, one for, for one. For every power point you don't put into it, it's a minus one. Okay. So uh, I will uh, to make it three d six is two. Yes. So I will have to take a negative two. No, no. You also get plus two from being uh, having a Joker. Oh, that's right. So it'll be even. Yep. It'll be an even roll. So all right. So that's what I will do. Okay. So armor piercing two, three d six damage. No penalties to the roll. Okay. Go ahead, and you get a bonus. Of, uh, it's inclu included already. Oh, God oh, damn it! You do have four bennies right now, though. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. use one of them for sure. Okay, so we'll just keep it at three on your token there for now. Go ahead and reroll. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. Come on. We go. Yeah. With a raise too. So it'll yes. be uh, you have to roll one extra damage 
on your uh, bolt. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, so let's see here. So one of the things with and just like in uh, Savage Rifts and in like uh, Supers, you can't do more than four uh, wounds at a time. Um, but I think that that's I need to get my little uh, where's my little measuring thing okay. here. So that would have been AP two would have been uh, K fourteen. So one two you got three uh, raises on it on top of the thing. Um, awesome. I will spend its last Benny uh, to try and soak this. Yeah, I am that's not, fair. I am not hopeful. Um, and it's already taken two wounds, too. So if you do two more to it, I need to soak uh, three, four wounds. Uh, let's see here. That and my wild die. Uh, oh, I got exploding dice. But it only rolled the one. I even, I reduced it by two. So what does it look like as Bargle steps up <laughs> onto the woods? So Bargle kind of like, you know, stumbles in and sees this horrific looking beast. Uh, and his friends, you know, looking like they've been through it, uh, and just kind of pulls out of the air this black energy and hurls it at the creature. Uh, and as it like buries itself through its flesh, it just tears it apart and bursts out the other end, <laughs> or the other side. As, awesome. with all the blood and entrails and everything else was, you know, bursting out. So then as the, uh, basically it, it collapses down and as the, the vines that, that Wurman has summoned sort of slowly retreat, it just slumps down and, and uh, falls into diff different pieces. And I think as everything kind of stops, you know, and, and there's that, everyone's, you can only hear the sound, everyone's labored breathing and big clouds of smoke. Um, Sir Yvain, when you look back at Frederick the Fearful, the first thing he does is he looks at you and just goes, ah! Ah! and he's screaming over and over. <laughs> Eventually, he, he screams himself hoarse. <laughs> but yeah, he uh, he did not enjoy. This is the thing that actually raised right next to him as well, too. So speaking of taking mm -hmm. a break. As you guys are getting yourselves collected, we'll take our mid-session break right now. You've successfully defeated that thing. Everyone gets a, uh, another Benny as well. Sweet. Uh, and then we will talk about the... Cont I guess we'll explain to Bargle what you guys have signed up for. And then <laughs> you will... We will yeah, carry Bar on. Bargle just, after that, just goes like, So, uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, guys. So let me... And I'm actually going to adjust because we got one more. This is... Uh, Oh, no, fuck it. We'll, we'll keep it with it what it is. I'm not going to adjust the uh, uh, the uh, distance. So uh, we'll be back. For those listening at home, we'll be back uh, momentarily. Cool. Jeff, how you doing? Jeffrey, how are you? Sorry, what was that, George? Yeah, I was just saying, how you doing? Oh, not bad. A little yeah. tired. Yeah, I how are you? you? Fridays are same. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And I got my second vaccination shot today. Uh, I feel oh totally, right, but I feel totally fine. I don't feel you know additionally tired or any other ill effects. So yeah, so it usually so takes good. a couple hours to kick in. Yeah, I've got it. I got it about at this point six. Six or seven hours ago. Oh, well, that's so, good. so far so good. So I'm hoping that's uh, fingers crossed that that's that's. So are there side effects to the vaccine? Yeah, I mean, yeah. some people have had some. You know, nothing. Nobody that I know has any, had anything major, but they just people just haven't felt well for two or yeah. two three days. Well, I mean, you're of course you're going to be tired and you're going to be. Yeah, your Whatever. immune system is run running over time. So yeah, exactly. But so far so good. Steve, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks, man. More or less, yeah. Got some good, uh, got some good drugs from the doctor, so my guts are feeling good. better now. Yeah, yeah. Great, that's good. Glad to hear it. Yeah. That's that's awful. I, I I've been through that before myself, so. Yeah. Learn Not fun. I, I, just, I can't believe the system here. I mean, like, I go to the doctor. I go, I go to the laboratory. I uh, I get a checkup. I buy drugs. It, you know, it, it all happens immediately in one day, basically, and it wow. costs less than fifteen dollars Canadian, and it's and and What's even that? though you're not a citizen, they just 
cover you? Even though it's it's normal. I think it's like a, that's basically the way it works for everyone. It's a cashier. You just pay for services, and uh, and you're in and you're out, and that's it. So I don't have to. I don't have any you know healthcare. No need. Wow. And that's it's amazing. less than fifteen bucks, and that's with the medicine. I'm just like, wow. wow. Holy cow. Like, I, you should get yeah. You should get more sick more often and take advantage of that. You know right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's check in. <laughs> Crumb says. God, my neighbors are probably calling the cops after that stream. <laughs> yeah. Quite possibly. Yeah, possible. <laughs> Quite possibly. Brian, welcome to the weekend. Steve-O, what's going on? Crumb, hello, hello. Uh, CVNPC, hello and happy Friday to you too. Uh, Jeffrey, danger of the multiverse. Of course. Once a circus dog, always a circus dog. I 100% agree. Savage Pathfinder. I'm a bit puzzled. Well, Mal, I think uh, hopefully you're up to... Oh, yeah, it looks like you're uh, up to speed now. Good, good, good. All righty. So... Um, and quick question, uh, Kev. How do you change the number of bennies you currently have? Uh, we've just been tracking it on the token with the red dot. And ha But how do you actually change that So if value? you click on it and then just hover your mouse over the red dot and then just enter a number. Hmm. So if you hover over, if the red, and then it's like, say, put a two in there, it becomes two. A three, it becomes three. Let me try. Sure. Hmm. Nothing happens. Like my, you know, I get the, I get the crosshairs like this. Hold up. Let me make sure you got control of everything here. Could be a problem between keyboard and chair on my side. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. No, I'm sure it's me. Let's see here. Yeah, you got control I, of it. Yeah. And um, let me make sure the... I'm gonna try. Yeah, yep. I can't click anybody else. Okay. Um, so, so I literally so, I hover I, I hover over the the number with inside the red circle. No, no. So what you do is you, you click on the token. Uh, then you yep. click on. You see, there's a, there's the cog, and then there's another button down there. A button that opens yep. up like the red dot, and then a bunch of other colors. Yeah. Hover over the red dot, and then just enter a number. Oh, I see. Got it. Got it. Got it. I've never used that before. That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. I, I think it was, it might have been Sean who told us that we could do that. I can't That's remember who it was. Great. I love it. All right. So we're all back, guys. So let's talk about what we're doing right now, then. Uh, so you guys are trapped. Well, yeah, I'll let you guys tell. What, what are, like, um, narrative wise, what, are, what is it that you guys are doing? So we have decided that it is necessary for us to go out into the wild in search of uh, a pack of undead somethings that are leaving a trail around here so that because we believe that they're very close to attacking helix um so we're uh, going out and um yeah we're gonna deal with them so we're and how using, far did you get? Yeah, sorry. Not even through the first day yet. This is about midway okay. through the first day. So yeah. what we're doing is we're using um, the journey rules or modified version of the mm. journey rules from uh, Savage Rifts. Um, yeah, and cool. we're using the um, narrative or the dramatic tasks rules. Because uh, they in... Um, uh, what do you call it? In... Um, the first module for Rise of the Rune Lords, they've given an example of something similar to this, and I'm like, oh, that's a great way of modeling it. So, cool. uh, excellent. So then, guys, what we have is, for the second half of the day, uh, we know that you guys have faced, and how much better would that scout roll have been if you got a crit, hey? Because you could have avoided that thing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so first off is any, no one's injured, it looks like, right? So, except for, you know, Frederick the Fearful. Um, but even then, it's oh. just, you know, his pants that are soiled. But. <laughs> yes. Now, for recovering uh, power points, I believe you actually need to rest in order to do that. You get one back per hour, but let me double check that and make sure I'm not uh, shortchanging you on your power points. No, it says kill the players if you like, Kev. That's weird. Mm. Huh. A couple mm -hmm. other thing, uh, cool things that. So, we got uh, someone who can actually, actually, and uh, Warbin as well. Uh, cantrips are a thing in this game too. So if you've got a, a power and you got a minor version of that power you want to uh, you want to try and use, um, it will cost you. You just make a uh, spellcasting check, and uh, you lose a power point uh, or suffer a, 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 a fatigue uh, only if you get a critical failure. Otherwise, it doesn't cost you anything. So if you want to do little minor things like uh, lighting a cigarette or you know all that shit, 
It's just a, either a spell casting or a faith roll. Um, you can also detect magic at will for both of you guys. Uh, cool. You do need to spend an, uh, it's a very short range, but you can take advantage of that uh, as well. Now, power and the base, I was just looking up base expenditure for like, because I haven't done it yet, uh, for for casting these spells. Um, I don't see on the sheet where what how much like what what the bolt cost me to. Oh, it cost you two. Start. Yeah, under power. It's power two. Yep. Okay. Uh, it would have just cost you two because uh, the base spell. Oh uh, yeah, base. Is the base bolt two or one, guys? Let me check my cards again. I think I'm um, double. Here we go. Bolt one. Bolt, bolt only costs one. Uh, okay, but it cool. So it would have cost one oh. extra from the AP, and then you took the minus two to get the extra damage. Yep, so I'm... Uh, yeah, got All right. Uh, so and um, that, What I, I see is that five character recovers five. Yeah. Five per hour, yeah. You can also spend a Benny to recover five. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then I have a, another question just about my powers. My boost trait, can I do that? Is there a rule about, like, only do that, only have that active once, or can I boost my strength and then boost my fighting to yep. kind of double up? Yep, you can do both. Ah, awesome. Absolutely. And to, to uh, sustain any ability only costs one power point, and then okay. it lasts for the same duration again. Well, because that's what I was going to do before Bargle zapped that thing, is boost my strength. <laughs> Exploded <to> it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then, guys, let's um, let's do the next uh, phase of your, uh, next part of your day. And what we're doing now is uh, we're trying to use uh, skills. you got to use a different skill than what you used before, but Bargle is, is sort of wide open for what skill he wishes to use here. Let's see here. Warbin. Oh, mm -hmm. queen, but it's a clubs, meaning a complication. Uh, ace for Badonkadonk. Uh, spades for... Or hearts for Badonkadonk. Spades for Sir Yvain. And clubs for Bargle. Complication mm. for you as well. All right. Mm -hmm. So the order will be Badonkadonk, you're up first. What are you thinking? I guess first thing is do you guys want to carry on immediately or do you wish to rest an hour to get some power points back? Or you could spend bennies. Uh, Badonk is currently sitting on five bennies. Yeah, I can recover some of those if you guys want to keep moving. That's up to you. It's up I'm to you guys. I'm only... moving. That's fine. I'm, I'm okay. Want to keep you. moving? Well, I'm I'm happy if that's what we want to do. I'll sure, spend I'll, I'll spend and, and yeah, get I'll my spend a Benny. power points back and okay. be ready for whatever. So you get five points back from that Benny. Uh, Warbin, do you want to spend a Benny to gain five power points back? Yeah, I'm down with that. Okay, so put your Bennies down to two, and your power points are back up to seven. Not bad. Nice. Oh, All right, in case we run into anything. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think of a donk? Um, well, I, I think after that situation, um, Badonk is going to be on high alert and um, using his notice skill to try and look for any upcoming danger. One thing I'll, I'll of... mention or just remind you guys of is that you can support during this stage of the game as well, too. So if you want to just try and give a plus one and then on a raise get a plus two to somebody else, you can choose to do that. And we just narratively mm. figured out how you're doing that. That allows you yeah. to use the exact same skill. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I used my athletics last time. I think I'll use my notice, but I think you're right. Maybe it'll be in, like, support of someone else who is um, actually scouting the path. Yeah, yeah. Does someone else who's got a... Does someone else want to roll notice as well? Well, I think... No one wants to, yeah. I, I think Bargo would do notice. Okay. Mm -hmm. as sure. Well. Sure. All right, so, so then, Badonk, go ahead and roll your... Uh, you only need to roll against a four. Oh. I'll spend a Benny to re-roll. Yeah, I'm rich with bennies. <laughs> Splendent with them. <laughs> the lucky goblin and a raise. So, uh, Bargo, right you will get a plus two to your uh, your check. Now, All right. next up is uh, Werbin. And Wer um, so I have a, a further question. Do we have to go in order, or could I support Werbin now if we wanted to? If to Werbin chooses that? to wait, he can. But the the um, the only real important thing is that he is suffering a complication. So whatever he's choosing to do, something challenging will come up. But yes, you can absolutely... Uh, and because he's facing a challenge, actually might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I was going to suggest, Werbin, why don't you why don't you hold up a second and I'll, you know, carry your pack, maybe your staff or whatever extra crap you're hauling. I don't know what druids need. 
but um, anything yeah. like that, I, mm -hmm. I can haul it for you because I'm a big, strong paladin and all that. That would be, that'd be grand. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, so I shall, I shall wait. Go ahead and um, make a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, athletics check, please. Yeah. Success. So you're going to get plus one uh, to you, whatever you choose to do, Werbin. Um, what are you thinking, Werbin? You used survival last time. What are you thinking of using this time? Boy, it should be nice to use the survival again, but uh, of course you have to roll. <laughs> you know what? We don't always get what we want. <laughs> some days eat the bear, and some days, you know, a giant undead yeah, exactly. crab monster. Hey, you know what? But you know what I have though is great faith in my natural instincts uh, in in the forest. I sometimes I just use my, I almost close my eyes and reach out with my uh, forest sure. powers. So and, I love uh, this because if we do get a complication on this too, it's totally going to be the Barrowmoor lashing back with its undead n nastiness. So uh, the net Werbin you're going to get is a minus one. All right. So go ahead and give us a faith okay. roll. Faith roll with a minus one. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. Come on. And boom. Success. All right. So that means you guys are... Oh, hold on in here. Making a little more progress. See a little task bar at the bottom, uh, George? Uh, wait. Oh, down there. Yes, cool. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're getting there. This yep. is this is it better is. progress than we made in Rifts so far. So. <laughs> 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 All right. In like so then, two sessions. Werbin, you have... Uh, yeah, so you, you've you reached your senses out, Werbin. Um, Sir Yvain, your your help because you've helped to take some of his load off of him. He's really able to do that, um, and it's almost as if like the the landscape is opening up before you, showing you the way. And you guys are are, are getting closer. You feel like you're very very close to making a breakthrough here as well, Sir Yvain. Maybe with a, a raise on Bargle, you may find something crucial. Mm. All right, then Bargle. Um, so you're making a okay. notice check. You are also suffering Correct. a complication. Uh, so right. you'll get a minus two to this. Um, and I got a plus two from Jet Badonk, so I'm at an even. Precisely. So no modifiers. You just need to make a notice check for us, please. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Nice. All right. So you made some great progress, guys. As our first day comes to a close and you guys are forced to make camp in the frozen uh, Barrow Maze or Barrow Moor, um, you know that you're getting closer to your uh yeah uh closer to the uh your prey now because you guys are overnighting in here uh, a couple things need to happen overnight first i need everybody to give us a vigor check you get no penalties here and make one for uh good old freddy too please uh arlen <laughs> oh shit all right spending a benny because my vigor is so much better than that. Oh, oh shit, Bargle. Uh, um, Bargle. Yep, I gotta send, send one as well. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I gotta read uh, Nice. Okay. So anyone, and then I just need you to roll for, uh, Frederick's got a d6 in his vigor. He succeeded. All right. All right. So uh, a couple things happen. First off, you guys will each gain, uh, I think you're all back at your full uh, power points. Uh, so you can restore your power points back up to full. Uh, nice. Sir Yvain, it's just, this is, I mean, you're traveling. You're to carry Werbin's pack. Yeah. So you have one level of fatigue right now. All right. You can mark that on your character sheet and it will automatically calculate that stuff for you. Everyone else, you guys are doing, you're managing the cold and the, and the bad conditions uh, quite well. So now, guys, let's talk about... Uh, first, we're going to check our date. Oh, um, I need... Let's see here. Um, Jeffrey, would you roll for food? Give us a, a 2d6 roll. Arlen, roll for water. A 2d6, and no one used any ammunition, so we don't need to roll for that. And it's a side, everyone. It's like, it's like a shovel on a ski, you know? It's like if I had like a single ski, and then like, like, like a shovel, that like it's like we just push a nice path through the snow wherever we're going. Yep. It'd just be like... A lot easier to walk that way. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, we need to roll uh, for the start of this day. Uh, start off with Steve. Uh, Werbin needs to roll us a survival check for navigating. Now, hold on. You guys do have one extra party member now, so someone could support in this uh, in this role. So, 
The rolls are the uh, navigator is going to roll survival for us. The lookout is going to roll notice and the scout will roll stealth. So somebody... Uh, I'm happy to support Bargle in uh, in um, Lookout. That seems like that might make sense since I did that last time, but I'm feeling I'm, I'm feeling the weight of the cold on me, guys. Okay. It's a little out here. So then, Werbin, let's start off with you. Let's get your um, survival check for us, please. Okay. <laughs> Oh, raise, holy smokes. Uh, so the lookout uh, and the scout will each get plus one to your roll. So, Badonk, do you want to roll next? Uh, sure. I think you're the scout. Go ahead and give us a, a plus one to your stealth roll. Oh! You want to spend a Benny and re-roll? Uh, yeah, I'm still I'll tell you mildly what rich on a, with Benny. On a fail, I draw two encounter cards and choose the result. Mm. Oh man, no, I better re-roll. <laughs> yeah, we know the way Kevin chooses. <laughs> You're damn right. Exactly. <laughs> I'll take both. <laughs> All right, so success. So I'm only rolling one encounter card, and then uh, Sir Yvain, let's roll for your support. All right, notice, and then I think it'll do fatigue automatically because I put it in. Yes. You, well, yeah. All right, and it did it nice. automatically. Yeah. Dice already, pretty good. So you got plus one to your roll there, uh, Bargo. Plus two. Oh, sorry, plus two because of uh, two. Corbin's incredible right. navigating. There we go. There we yes, go. And a raise. So in a raise, uh, the party draws two encounter cards, and you guys. Oh no! Hold on! No, I'm I'm lying. I'm totally lying. Uh, on a raise, you cannot be ambushed. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so sense. there's no That's chance. Good. All right. So let's yeah. see what's happening for today, then, guys. This is the encounter card for the day. Spades again, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the Barrel Maze Rigged. is a dangerous place to travel. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't think it's. Uh, isn't it clubs that uh, is an encounter? Or is it spades? Let's see. Let's see. I actually might be cheating here. Hold on. <laughs> like everything is you know, hearts. Oh, it's an encounter again. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Andy Clark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Spades is treasure, so. <laughs> <laughs> Madison, you cheating bastard. All right. No, I don't oh. know what it is. Here um, we go. Downtime. Dramatic is it the same hazards. breakdown, Kev, in terms of like how much combat there is versus how much exploration exactly. there is? Yep. Same okay. things as in the, uh, the regular one. So only uh, one quarter of them will be actual violent encounters. No Spades is enemies. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Yeah, All right, guys. So then <laughs> let's do this. So you cannot be ambushed. They may be. So let me do this. Um, mm. uh, you got, a, did you get a raise on your, no, you got a success on the, on the uh, scouting roll. So not a raise. So let me just roll a notice check here and see if you guys are going to see them first. <laughs> no, I got a, I got a raise on it. So no. Everyone's keeping very close eyes out. Okay, so then, uh, but that will not be... Um, you know what I'll do? Here, here's what I'm going to do, is uh, I'll treat the... I'll draw a card and that in the initiative order, so you guys may actually get your actions before this thing happens. So for the okay. event will happen on a four. All right? So then, okay. Werbin, Queen of Spades, not bad. Badonkadonk, Ten of Clubs, oh, complication... Uh, King of uh, Spades for uh, Sir Yavin and Bargle. A seven of clubs, another Ooh, complication. Gosh. So, brand yeah. new day, guys. Uh, I will let you guys and new cycle. You can use whatever skill you want at this thing. So, looks like Sir Yavin will be up first. What are you thinking? Mm. <laughs> I mean, the easy thing is to just, just try to learn more about the the nasties that are out here with the cult. Okay. Um, and to be honest, I think that's probably what I'm best at. And that's probably what Sir Yvain is thinking. And that's probably part of why he's fatigued is because he's not paying enough attention to yep. where he's placing his feet and tripping over himself as he's, you know, deep in thought about the, all the nasty stuff that's out here. So let me roll a cult okay. and uh, see what I can think up. Ooh. Oh, oh. You are tired. I am tired. Uh, do you want? Oh, you got no bennies. No bennies. No bennies. Alrighty. Uh, so then, unfortunately, the um, it's not a fail. 
But Sir yeah. Yvain, you just what do you think is happening? What's like is he just too deep in his own head right now? Probably. I mean, he's he's kind of wondering about and he's probably thinking about he's having trouble, you know, with the the cold and the the difficulty with walking and and he's got that right it's that deep cold that gets down in there it feels like he just can't get warm yeah uh, and it was all night so he didn't sleep well and so now he's just having he's just having a lot of trouble doing any kind of like you know practical knowledge he's he's just fine on all sorts of you know weird mm. theology if anybody wants to ask about that <laughs> yeah. oh you know what though you've got one more reroll left Ooh, from your studying but i might want to save that if we actually run into a nasty undead Mm. Mm, although, huh. I will use my reroll now. Okay. I'll go for it and uh, try to so click on re -roll. get my occult. Let's see here. There you go. All right. So you do, and actually, you know what? Uh, in spite of you thinking you've hit that uh, threshold. So um, what you find is as you're traveling along, um, you guys reach a clearing not far from where you guys are. And what you can see is that the pattern of the footprints in this, um, they all sort of seem to collect around. Like imagine if a bunch of feral humanoid creatures all sort of clustered around a single member of their, of their pack. And almost as if they were like crouching down, trying to, you know, um, to pay attention to these things. You're convinced more than ever that this is the type of... Remember that horrible thing that dra uh, dragged off one of your allies into the forest to, or into the, the uh, swamp to consume uh, last year? It's like yeah. those feral things, but being led by some alpha. Mm. Not cool. Something mm. you have not seen yet. All right. Next will oh, be. Oh, so I actually have a, another question about my my powers, yep. real quick. Um, so I one of my powers is relief, and one of the things that it can do is reduce fatigue, but it only lasts for an hour. Yeah. But I've got ten points so, uh, on a raise. So I... Doesn't it become eight? Uh, let's see. Um, relief, relief, relief. Um, additional recipients, stuns, oh. effect lasts one hour. Um, I don't see anything. Is there anything? Uh, it allows you to reduce the penalties by more with a raise. It doesn't what about if you spend more. extra? Was there something in there? Let me take a look. I don't see anything on here. I see additional recipients and stun. Sure. I mean, it may have been something that I, uh, like the power cost may have been beyond what you've got on hand. Let me double, uh -huh. let me just double check here. Well, I, what I, I was also thinking is since I've got 10 points, I could, for, you know, 10 hours of traveling, mm -hmm. be kind of buffing myself up, not well, have any points for anything else. But yeah, then well, I mean, I would this would only be, the it, it would only be um, an initial four uh, hour period anyway. This is the, the first mm -hmm. sort of pay uh, is four hours worth of traveling. So I'd mm -hmm. only make you spend three in total uh, or uh, four in total, four in total, mm -hmm. three, sir, three uh, for Okay, and then relief, restoration. Sorry, I, I'm, there's another ability that you can... Oh, it's the resistance one. Uh, which I think... Either Bargel or... Um, Werbin has. There's like an elemental resistance yeah. ability. That he's mm, got. Not, not me. Elemental protection. I have, I have, oh, I have protection. Uh, this is elemental protection. Oh, yeah, then I do not have that. Yeah, and on on a raise, the duration becomes eight hours. Wow. And you become, um, basically, it, makes you, it protects you from the crushing depth, scathing heat, intense cold, and even radiation. And you're going to have additional recipients for each power point. So uh, Werbin could, you know, protect you guys throughout the day and, and uh, basically prevent you from having to make that vigor check for a day. It's a lot of uh, power points to spend, and you have to get a raise on it, but yep. something worth considering. That's, um, a good, that's a good idea. But yeah, so what I'm thinking is I could just spend four power points and be kind of every hour or so re-upping my, my fatigue resistance, yeah. and it's going to be an uncomfortable night, but... 
Well, that's that would be for, for the next stage. Maybe that's something you considered as you were we looking. Could just have a lot of them. Like now that you've seen that thing and you've seen what the uh, is going on, maybe that's why you're like, all right, drawn you know a prayer and you could drain four points and not suffer that fatigue penalty for uh, for the next pass. Yeah, that's what I will do. Okay, uh, Werbin, you're up next. What skill you want to use? You could use survival again now if you choose. Uh, sure. Uh, in Ireland, I mean, like, we uh, there's no rule against cuddling, right? Like, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. All right. Survival it is. Let's rule, rule the wilderness with my will and wit and wisdom. There we oh, are. Oh, and a raise. Jeez. So, then, what you guys get is two points towards. You need four more uh, to find the thing, and if you reach there before the encounter, uh, you guys do not have to deal with that combat encounter. So, um, Badonk, now you will be suffering a complication of some kind. What uh, what skill do you think you're using? Hmm. You can use athletics again if you choose. Right, which I'm... It's not that I'm great at that one, I just wanted to move them around, because, like, as you said, you can't use the same one twice. So. Yeah, yeah. What are you thinking? Um... <coughs> Well, you know, since there's a complication involved, and I think it's kind of an interesting uh, thing to do it, maybe I was uh, attempting to use my stealth um, to sort of uh, keep scouting the area, you know, poking the snow, yeah. checking it out. You know, that thing kind of came upon us, and uh, so I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah. So you're like kind of the, uh, the what do you call it, the outrider. Uh, yeah, the, the outrider. Yep, I buy that. So go ahead, and uh, so it'll be a stealth, and you'll get a minus two because of the... And maybe the complication is just like you can feel eyes on you the whole time. Yeah, he's nervous. Well, that's what mm. I'm thinking. Like yeah. he's, he, And maybe he's, you know, not as stealthy as he thinks because he's, you know, got this stick in his hand, and he's, like, poking every snowbank kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh so close to a race. But you got a success. So nice. that is nine. So then it is Bargle. You're gonna have a complication as well. Yep. What are you thinking? Um. So I um. A couple of thoughts. So I I, I think I witnessed the fact that um. That Sir Yvain was unable to kind of use his occult, uh, you, you know, ability to sort of uh, help, you know find our way uh, to where we need to go. I'm not going to try to do the same thing. I was wondering, could I use uh, Detect Arcana basically with a spellcasting check? Yep. Or how does that would work? I think you could, uh, so if you, what you want to do is knowing what the area is, uh, narratively, if you want to use your spellcasting as a way of like having a cantrip type ability to just keep like on yeah. the, the very up close kind of thing, and I, th I think the danger is that if um, if you may like accidentally pick up the wrong trail and walk yourself into danger. Totally, because it's not going to. I, I was just reading over the spell description, and it basically almost picks up any basically picks up anything that might be super object or creature or anything that might be supernatural. So I might be following yeah. the wrong trail. Well, and, this, and um, with with the um, like uh, the the actual power. It has a like a, a more substantial range to it, but in uh, Savage yeah. Pathfinder, you can automatically anyone who's got an arcane background, you automatically have the ability to do that. And actually, uh, Sir Yvain, right. you, if uh, you want to uh, consider using faith as one of your things, you can also you can detect evil mm. as one of your uh, paladin abilities. I do not seem to have faith on my skill list. <laughs> oh, you don't? Hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, like, it could have been a DM fuck up uh, Hold on. Uh... Let's see here. Archetype. Let's see here. No, you do not have faith. Um, so oh. you clearly should have been uh, spending more time in seminary and less time in the yeah. whack in the what head you, school. What were you thinking? Yep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we have a flashback to uh, like one of your uh, instructors kind of like tapping strolls angrily on their uh, and his hand as he sees you, you know, play at the lists one more time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, this uh, is why I was spending all winter planning on just doing, you know, theological research. And yep. then we got interrupted by all sorts of nastiness out here. So. All right. Uh, Bargle, <laughs> uh, go go ahead and make a spellcasting check at minus two. Okay, here we go. Minus two. 
Known. And you will get the benefit of your... Oh, nice! You're so, so your yeah, staff. Barely. So you're using your staff to sort of sense us along. You guys yeah. are closer. All right, so then uh, you're... Oh, it's two away from finding this thing. Let's see what everyone's actions will be here. So, Werbin. Oh, wrong dice. Hold on. Fucking wrong card. Werbin. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Just before. Then. Yeah. Badonkadonk. Oh, mm -hmm. two. So, Yavin. Six. And Bargle. Nine. Of clubs, though. Ooh. So, <laughs> Bargle, Sir Yvain, and Warbin will all have a chance to act before the encounter happens. And if you reach the two... Now, first off, it's been another hour of play. Everyone gets a Benny. Oh, nice. And... Good thing I was eating those things like candy there for a bit. <laughs> That's yes. right. In fairness, you do have a big mouth, so... <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> That's true. Uh, All right, so uh, Bargle, you will be up first. You can choose to wait if you like, uh, but you can't wait any later than a five. Yeah. Um, I think because uh, I witnessed Sir Yvain having some difficulty, I will uh, try to use the occult this time uh, and try to see you know, if there are any... Uh, uh, any any ways that the the environment has been affected by the passing of yeah. undead creatures, or uh, I think there's you, a you cold guys are, in the air. Over the course of your passage, you guys are definitely because you're only two away from from uh, finding the actual lair. You're finding, you know, gnawed upon uh, skulls of bullywugs and lizard folk and stuff mm. like the not enough to make a an actual like undead creature, but stuff that could be uh, that is the leftovers. Of a necrotic feast. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, whatever I find, I'm gonna like take moment, a moment to study it and try to piece it, piece, it, piece this all together to figure yeah, out yeah. what's so, going on. So I think with the, um, uh, with the, the complication, I'm gonna suggest that it's just like your nerves are getting to you. Yep. Right. Your hands are trembling. Well, we're get, we're getting closer. Like, um, you know, we're getting deeper uh, into the Barrowmore. Um, you know. Uh, I've been through this before, and it's never pleasant. Yeah. So the fact that we're making our way closer to our quarry is a good thing, but it's also a horrible thing. Absolutely. Uh, go ahead and give All us right. an occult at minus two. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to spend a penny. Okay. <laughs> go right ahead. Click on reroll. Yeah. Oh, minus right. I can just do it right there. I forgot I can yep. just do it right there. Get the oh, minus two put, as well. Put the, yeah, I forgot to put the minus two. Come on, explode. Oh. Oh. No. Two more right. opportunities to get two more successes. Sir Yvain, you were up next. Now, you mentioned that you were going to be uh, praying for relief for this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that yep. this time. I'm so just reduce gonna, your um, power four. by four. And what do you think this is? Like, what What is it, the specific prayer that he's invoking? And is there a manifestation of it? So uh, everything has been sort of, uh, I pictured it as, as light and sort of pale bluish glow almost, a, a whitish bluish glow. But I think this time there's a sort of, um, he can, he's, he's walking along and he almost stumbles at one point and um, realizes that he was, you know, half asleep because he's, you know, cold and worn out and all that sort of stuff. Decides that what he needs is... Um, and, and of course his boots are just completely frozen over from the, the water and stuff. So he uh, raises up one hand and he sort of says a quick prayer and then he reaches down and he touches down near his ankle. And you can see that there's this sort of glow around the ice and it starts to crack a little bit as he can, you know, steps around a little bit, like he can feel his feet again, mm -hmm. um, that he's warmed up, he's feeling a little better. Um, and you know you can see that slight it's sort of like like on his spurs almost this kind of slight glow around his feet yep love it all right uh, so then what uh, skill are you thinking of using um I think we're I think we're this close I think the thing to do is something similar to what I tried last time but instead of kind of carrying gear I think the thing to do is to put my shield in front of me and kind of hold it with two hands and try to kind of push through the snow and the sludge mm -hmm. and create a trail almost for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because like, we're 
at this at this close, we kind of know which direction we're heading. We know we're going to get there. We just need to push on before nightfall. Really, that's yep. sort of the absolutely. The thing. So it sounds like athletics. That that's what it sounds like to me. Okay, go ahead. And I will uh, temporarily reduce my fatigue mm-hmm. so that my athletics is not penalized. There we go. Yeah, nice. there it is. There it is. All right, nice. guys. So. What you come upon, thanks to Sir Yvain's, um careful, you know, or uh, uh, powerful, you know, uh, uh, brush clearing abilities, uh, and the renewed vigor that he draws from his faith, you guys finally come upon where these things seem to be layering, and where it is is basically a sunken and kind of frozen bog. You can picture like a. Um, I'm actually kind of picturing, you know, like the that uh, the sort of like depression slash waterfall at the end of Predator, where he hides yeah. himself down. Right there's that lagoon yeah, yeah. there. Picture that, but frozen, and then beneath the sort of uh, the trickling frozen um, or freezing, I should say, uh, water that trickles down to into that bog. There is a hole in the side of the thing, like where Arnold was sort of hiding himself among the roots there. Imagine if there was a a burrow leading down into that. Mm-hmm. It seems that you guys have Ooh, reached here well before uh, nightfall. So I suppose the question is, do you face them in their lair? Or do you f- draw them out? It seems like it would benefit us if we were to draw them out. True. What do you all think? Yes. I mean, we don't Agreed. know how many are in there either. I I agree completely. And I think what I would let you guys do as well is um, if we're sort of I've been abstracting this to being like four hours of travel. If you had two more actions left, uh, you could take an hour and rest and gain five uh, power points back. Mm-hmm. Let's definitely do that. That seems like good. Yeah, we could rest and discuss and decide what we're okay. going to yeah. do. So how would you guys like to know what you've estimated uh, is that within the uh, within the uh, the burrow, at least from what you've tracked thus far, there appears to be oh, about uh, between 12 and 15 of these things. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's quite a bit. Plus, including the alpha. Including the alpha, yeah. Yeah, that's oh. a lot. I I don't know about you guys, but um, I do not have any way to see in the dark except by sensing evil. Uh, but Donk, I don't think I put it on your char- on your sheet, and maybe not Warbin either. But both of them have dark vision. Okay. Oh yeah, mine does say it. Yeah. For for yeah. Bargle and Yvain, we would need it to work. <laughs> well, and I, I do have a light spell. Oh well, I was gonna say that Frederick could hold the torch. Because or that, our, but that's, that's probably, his job. I, Oh, I'm happy for Frederick to do that. George, if you want to see what the... There's two ways you can look up the uh, spell. Can yeah. you guys see the um, the compendium on this? Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. even go over to the you compendium. Can. Yeah, because you can go oh, to the compendium. That's you, awesome. You can display... The powers are all displayed there. And the other thing is on your character sheet, too. You just need to go click it to the edit mode, and then you can read the powers. Or you can you know hit them, and they'll display in chat. <coughs> Oh, uh, something is up with the oh, compendium. Oh, yeah. Yep. Because I click on the thing and it says no results found. Yeah. Okay, so then that's because I didn't, yeah. I, when I set up the game, I was in a bit of a panic uh, <laughs> to get everything ready. I didn't actually set it up to, to share with you guys. So you can't do it that way, but it is, everything is cut and pasted from the Pathfinder or the Savage Pathfinder um, uh, rule book. So you just need to, at the top left there, George, there's a mm-hmm. uh, like a red card. You click on that, it becomes green. It'll put it into edit mode, and you can see everything. Oh, whoops. It, uh, that's on the top the left. Thing. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you have I'll, a... I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Let's see here. There we go. Got it. It's, Got it. Awesome. Go. Okay. Perfect. Um, great. And I, I yeah. Okay. Uh, so then, um, I see. How Oops. do you guys how do you guys see this kind of going here? Um 
One thing that you can think of, and so you vain, is because this is building on your earlier successes with a cult. Remember that these things don't breathe. Mm -hmm. Their layers may take advantage of that. Yep. They don't breathe, and we can't really smoke them out because of that. Also, exactly. Right. That's what. That's mm -hmm. what. Badonk. Maybe that. Maybe you brought that up because Badonk was actually. I was actually thinking that. So maybe Badonk suggested it. Why don't we smoke them out? And you mentioned, well, they don't breathe. So, mm. well, they could even be like you know, this sort of bog. We don't know. It's entirely possible that they you know, live underwater down in the the cave and something nasty like that if they're undead but did they, it seems that they feed on living flesh is that right could perhaps, that is that is definitely right it's could perhaps yeah oh go ahead perhaps i was just say lay lay some bait to draw them out <laughs> everett slowly looks at frederick <laughs> and i say i'll hold the torch <laughs> 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 but it's true whether but we do they when in all the places where we found things that clearly uh that we were able to tell for sure were killed and consumed by these creatures were they were they various kinds of creatures animals and humans or do they seem to only feast on human uh humanoids flesh? they seem humanoids. to be favored Okay. At least, I mean, like, if, include, that would be inclusive of um, uh, uh, lizard folk, uh, you know, um, mm -hmm. the, uh, what do you call them, um, uh, bollywogs, the frog folk. Right. Or froglings. Kinda. I think frog, they're called froglings in, in Barrow Maze, but same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what do you guys think? Mm. Um, now, one again, one thing that uh, Werbin could do, if you guys did want to breathe underwater and function underwater, he does have that elemental re um, resistance uh, or elemental protection power. What that allow would do is it would in your it basically would allow you guys to operate underwater without penalty. Uh, it just it, with to affect everyone in the party, it's going to be a, a costly spell for him to get off. Right. So, what do you think, Werbin? Mm -hmm. And we're really got two uh, power points. I mean, two bendies left. So in terms of recharging, mm -hmm. doesn't have, doesn't have a lot. And you can once you're out, you can also uh, take a, just take a penalty uh, to cast as well too. So remember, you can overcast. Right. The the consequence of failing that does it, it's. Uh, uh, you it's a critical fatigue. failure, I think, or something. I think again, it gains fatigue, fatigue automatically mm -hmm. from it. So. Mm -hmm. Right. But definitely mm -hmm. is an option though. Hmm. Well, should one thing we could uh, try to do just to get a better sense is to do a little bit of recon and just kind of look into this, uh, you know, opening. Yeah. Just to see what we can see, um, whether with that's with torchlight or however or dark vision. Mm. Yeah, I mean, Badonk does have decent stealth and dark vision, so he could scout. Okay. Yeah, I think, and he's I think, and he's fast. So, yeah, I think that's probably maybe what we should do is we should set up with the rest of us in kind of a defensive position, kind of across from the opening, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then have Badonk come in, and if Badonk comes racing out and shouts, you know, they're on my tail or something like that, we yep. know that we've got a fight on our hands. Yeah. Um, so why don't we do this? Let me. Uh, I'm gonna roll for there to set the difficulty for the notice. That way you know what okay. your actual your target number is. Yep. Badonk. All right. <laughs> it's a four. <laughs> I rolled terribly. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So, what do we see as Badonk sort of makes his way down and sneaks his way over? Um. I think that um, you see Badonk like uh, he's rubbing his eyes and he's sort of uh, cleaning his ears and uh, getting ready to head down and then uh, gets down on all fours and starts kind of quick, quietly crawling down into the darkness. Amazing. Okay. 
So then, uh, why don't, um, Badonk, why don't you give us a uh, stealth roll, please? Here we go. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, so that is a tie. <laughs> so. Uh. Now, first off, before I make any decision, do you want to spend a Benny to re-roll? Remember, you you're, you uh, take the better of the two results unless you get a fumble. Oh. And the fumble can only be on the actual die, or can the wild die also... A fumble, fumble is if you roll one on both dice. Oh, okay. No, yeah. I'll re-roll then. Yeah, okay. yeah, let's nice. re-roll. Okay. Don't worry Great. about a fumble. I'm going to fumble for sure. No, I was just saying, now that you say yes. that. No, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> well, that's when, when we put George and Jeff and Brent in a game together, that's when it's nothing but... Oh, yeah. forget it. That is... Do not play with us. Everything breaks. <laughs> <laughs> he drives into a stump, breaks the gun. Oh, oh that's great. It was okay. amazing. So then, um, here's what you... Um, let me quickly show. So there are... Uh, the way that this, um, there we go. <clears throat> what you, um, you do is, uh, you make your way down to the edge of this sort of, uh, opening and it's slick and you can hear a, a kind of a, a, maybe you can feel it and not see it, but you feel something hard and poking, like something uneven, not twigs, not uh, stones. And you look down, and there are well-gnawed white bones at the entrance to this lair. Uh, thanks to your um, uncanny, um, light-footed uh, nature, you, you don't make any noise from it whatsoever. But ca ca crawling into this thing is disgusting. It is wet and freezing, and it stinks as you make your way down into there. The cold, uh, thankfully, or perhaps mercifully, um, likely freezes some of the carrion uh, that is down here. But even over that, there still is the smell of rotting flesh, or, or maybe it's just these things. Mm -hmm. Make your way down into sort of a, uh, a smaller area, pitch black still. And you hear sort of a... <laughs> sound from up ahead and you're able to sort of poke your head up and look down and what you can see is there is a there's kind of like a, a stream that sort of runs down or uh, uh, like a you know like a like a water wall kind of effect is yeah. that going down into sort of a, a, a fairly large pool it's about 25 feet across but sitting around here um, are these hideous creatures that seem to be slick with moisture. Ooh. That seem to have adapted some partially ichthyoid qualities to them. And they seem to be pulling apart some kind of humanoid and a rib kind of pops between two of them and then they quickly start sucking and gnawing on the... Uh, uh, the tasty marrow within. Uh, there How many is, can I count? You can count here. There's about six of them. Oh, man. Now, to give uh, context for, for as a reminder for anyone who hasn't played Savage Worlds in a while, remember there's two kinds of adversaries in Savage Worlds. There's wild cards, which are... Um, Sort of uh, like they, they have, they're like heroes. They takes four wounds to take them out. Um, they have bennies, uh, and uh, they often have you know good stats and stuff. And then there are extras, and extras are just the generic. You know, usually if they suffer a wound, they go out. What Savage? I mean, this is in Savage Worlds Adventure Edition, but Savage Worlds or Savage Pathfinder also introduces two other neat complications. One of them is uh, in Savage uh, in Suede. There's um, resilient extras which might take one extra wound so they might take one to go down or maybe two to go down there's also uh um, a new trait called unstoppable which means that the adversary can only take one wound from an attack regardless of how good you roll so like a dragon is never going down in one hit right so 
Not to say that these things aren't. Uh, <laughs> uh, to give you the, the full breadth of the awful <laughs> shit that you may face in this. Um, but No, I get it. They're all dragons. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> exactly. I've been threatening that, uh, that fang dragon for quite some time. So when, was, uh, when you're judging how difficult and how many things you could take on, uh, Jeff Badonk would know that, you know, you could probably take a few of these on. They're not super tough. You can plow through them. Right. I, I think seeing that and understanding that... Um, now, Kev, my mystic power, um, one of the things it says I can increase is my speed. Is that my actual, like, my running speed, or is that the speed that I act? Or? So it depends if you get a raise. Um, well, well uh, it doesn't give you extra time. actions. What it does is it, incre it doubles, <laughs> I think it doubles your speed. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's your mystic edge. Click on the, uh, the actual speed power. <coughs> Oh, there's an actual speed. Oh, there. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Because uh, I think what it does is if you um, normally, when you run, which is uh, you move your pace plus you roll a, a, a dice of a certain size, um, if you get a raise, you ignore the running penalty. And it, uh, so it doubles your movement, meaning your basic pace. And I think your pace is like an eight, isn't it? Yeah. That's a seven. It's seven. So that means you would move 14. Uh, normal human pace is a six, uh, so you'd move fourteen plus you'd get to roll twice uh, your running die. I think your running die is in D eight, isn't it? Uh, running. Does it show that, or you does may it... need to click on the cog, or you may need to be in the on the mode. pace roll. What does it oh. roll for you? Let's see here. Uh, it's a D six. So the reason a D six is you're small, so you're running. Right. Your pace is normally a D four. So that'd be, okay. you would get to roll an extra, so that would be, you'd add seven to that, and or you actually, you just click on that twice, and then we'll take that as the number. So, in a given round, that's 30 yards you're running right now, and you could right. roll again. Okay. Because so, I was just, what I was getting at is that I, I think that seeing them and seeing what's here, Badonk is thinking that he would um, use his sort of power to increase his speed. Yep. You know, maybe he sort of comes up from his haunched thing and, uh, you know, flexes his little goblin legs. Maybe he does, like, a couple of little jumping jacks or something almost. <laughs> and then he's thinking he's going to, like, you know, yell out at these things and get them to chase him <laughs> out. To his... Well, well, my allies said they were going to be ready, right? And yep. if I came awesome. out... And I see that we can probably take them, so, or at least what I can see, I think we can take. So, yep. he sort of, you know, gets ready, and then, you know, hey, you little shit monsters, you know, <laughs> wait for them all to turn, and then he's sort of going to bolt out. Um. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So, just, uh, you do not need to make any rolls. Uh, you know what I'll get you to do is uh, give us an athletics roll. Sure. I just need you to not uh, not uh, fumble. That's all. Cool. Close. <laughs> <laughs> Badonka Donk, ever the showman. Yeah. So, exactly. Keep it exciting. All right. So let me just quickly uh, set up something here, guys. I'm in the GM's lair. All right. So, uh, Jeff, why don't you, while I'm doing this, why don't you describe for us what the guys see? So maybe you hear for something from inside. What is uh, What do they hear? Yeah, I think he kind of looks back to make sure they're chasing him, and then he gives like sort of like that, I you know, big squeech. And then uh, right as he gets to the opening, he's like, they're coming! <laughs> All right. <laughs> but then he'll sort of like, um, a as he sort of reaches the line of them, he'll like, you know, uh, do almost like a cartoonish slide to a stop in the snow and turn and bare his claws. All right. How far away from the entrance do you want to be? Uh, just sort of in line with wherever Sir Your Vane would be. Okay. And then where what is uh, uh, where is everyone else sort of positioned as uh, well, for when these things come uh, charging out? I think Fargo would like to be behind something, whether it's a stump or a fallen log or a, a stone, a large boulder sticking out of the ground, or if there's if there you can find one. Yep. Yep. Okay, so we got Sir Yvain and, and Badonk next to each other. Where's uh, Fred and where's Werben? 
and Fred is behind Sir Yvain. He's he's got his spear ready to poke out around his shield. Okay. And what about uh, Werbin there, Steve-O? Is he, are you alive, Steve? Is Can't Steve... tell. Oh, his no, camera's off. He made me. Yeah. Oh, he's not muted, so. All right, so Werbin has, uh, is distracted by... Uh, hey, look at this butterfly. <laughs> 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 so that is great stuff. We'll give you guys one more Benny each. Oh, cool. And then you hear this sort of like screeching. And uh, Badonk, as you can hear them uh, like hooting and calling and, and hissing as they're racing along, you sort of look up at Sir Yvain and you're like, that, sound, that sounds like more than six. <laughs> and what comes bursting out of the burrow is this. So guys, wow, let's draw some cards. So, nice. uh, Stevo, if you get back, uh, let us know. We'll give you a card. Otherwise, we're going to sort of hold on here. So, Padonk, Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Here we go. Token layer. Let me go to the token layer. Padonk. And then Sir Yavine. And Bargle. Oh, jeez. We always draw all these what? little cards. And then the complication. Oh, and the bad guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Does anyone want to spend uh, uh, Benny to get a new action dice or action uh, card? No. Nah. They got to jump on us. I think all of our jaws sort of drop when... <laughs> yeah, and they're like sort of falling over each other, too. It's that yeah. uh, like World War Z, you know, wave of, of, uh, of critters coming out. All right, so then yeah. I think that uh, I've got... How much do I got here? Ten in total? Um... So uh, yes, 10. I will do, let's see here. Uh, so four are going to be uh, charging into Sir Yvain. Uh, four will be charging into Badonk. And uh, uh, the Outrider, I got two Outriders that are going to go after uh, Bargle. Okay. Bargle, were you actually like literally hiding yourself? No, I wasn't like... I just wanted to cover, yeah. basically, to you know, hide, you know, not yeah. to hide behind, to give myself cover. So I'm going to give them a minus two to their mm -hmm. uh, their checks to their attacks. I, they will have to run to try and get to you guys. Yeah. Um, and it's only a real dick DM that would uh, you know make them uh, let them make a uh, wild attack. You know? Yeah. So they won't be doing that, obviously. So oh, is this where is this where <laughs> my first strike triggers, Kev? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Nice. Go right ahead. Nice. Uh, okay. So as they're racing into you, you get to make one uh, uh, melee attack. Go ahead. Let me check what their parry is. Uh, 18. Oh, Jesus nice. Christ. No, I'm kidding. It's a five. <laughs> <laughs> That's a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, nice. <laughs> 11. What is their toughness? Nice. Their toughness is an eight. Now, do you have any abilities that give you a plus one to anything? Um, plus one to the uh, damage. Like that I haven't currently used? Yes. Nothing? Nothing that I know of. All right. So what you do then is, what does it look like as this thing comes running in? One of them is going to be shaken. Uh, I think he just had his claws ready and just sort of like rips at its face. Yep. Yeah. So one of them is knocked aside. The other three come racing in. Now, um, so the, here's the way that... Um, uh, like packs of these things, just so for your advocation and for those listening at home, uh, you generally bundle wild uh, like uh, extras together, and all you do is just roll a wild dice to go along with whatever they're doing, and then you just add the modifier for uh, gang uh, gang up bonuses. So rather than me fishing for you know exploding dice, rolling a bunch of dice, it just works that way. Uh, okay, so then I've got on uh, Badonka Donk. Thanks to you knocking one aside, I only get a gang up bonus of a plus two. Uh, what's your parry? Uh, seven. Seven, okay. So, fighting's not great here, actually. Uh, then I get plus two. Oh, one of them hits. Um, that's a ten. I do not get a raise, so one of them hits you, but not a raise. What's your toughness? Uh, six. A six. All right. Oop, and... All righty. Uh, that is then a d8. And... Four. Alrighty. 
So you are hit, and uh, I only rolled a three. So nothing but it tears at your uh, clothes. Uh, I need you, however, to give us a vigor roll at minus two. Yes. Oh, wow. So you can f uh, very Jeez. briefly feel the uh, the uh, power of these things trying to suck your vitality, uh, but you easily get yourself back. This is not the first time you faced ghouls. Uh, then I'll do on Sir Yvain. What's your parry? My parry is a nine. A nine. Got assuming a I've got my, I, I was assuming I have my sword and shield out since absolutely we knew the dog was going yep. in and yep. yeah, that with hundred percent. Yep. yep. Okay. So then I get a gang up of plus three on you. Um, oh, I got exploding dice. That is a twelve. Uh, so oh. I do get through. Uh, your toughness though is what a nine as well. Toughness is also a nine, and three of that is from armor. Okay, no problem. They have no AP on their uh, claws. Uh, oh shit, fuck. Uh, that's. Come on, Madison. All right, so I rolled an eighteen on the damage. Uh, so mm. that is. That would do it. Uh, so good opportunity. Your uh, your total toughness was a nine. You said. Yes. I got two. So I hit you. All right. So I got to shook you and two uh, wounds. You want to soak those? Uh, I do want to soak those. Okay. Go right ahead. Yeah. So spend my Benny and okay. then roll vigor. Here we go. Come on. For soak. I uh, make sure you got no. Oh. And spend my Benny to re-roll my soak. Please do. Yes. One. All right. So you only suffer one wound, and I need a vigor check from you, please. All right. So one wound and a vigor check at minus two. For... Uh, minus two. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh. If I didn't have the wound. Oh, no. Oh, oh wait. Why is it? Oh, you didn't have the wound, right? Because of the minus one. Um, all yeah. right. So then what? Um, you are paralyzed. Oh no! Uh oh, things could turn uh, very poorly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So exactly. this, this is uh, let's see here. The I don't think there is uh, an actual paralyzed. What I'll say you are is you are currently. Um, it's as if you were bound stunned and bound and entangled. We're distracted until you recover, fall prone, can't take actions, can't... Yeah, so that's basically what you are. Yeah, stunned, I think, is the is the correct yeah. uh, thing. And then, let's see here, but can you recover? Oh, give us a 1d6 roll, please, uh, Sir Yvain. This is how many rounds you're paralyzed for. Yes. Only one round! Fantastic. So you're just going to lose your action this round, that's it. Now, Bargle, what is your parry? Yeah. My parry is a 5. 5? I'm going to give you a 2 point bonus, so it'll be a 7. And I have cool. only a gang up bonus of plus 1, so I need to get a 7. I did get exploding dice. Fucking hell. Uh, so I, yeah, I we gotta you. We gotta start buying block edges, guys, if we're gonna fight big <laughs> mobs. <laughs> so this, uh, what they do get through, and one of them manages to yeah. tag you. What's your, um, uh, what do you call it, your... Toughness? Yes, please. 5. 5? Yeah. Alright. Uh, I got a 6, so you are shaken. Uh, that's it, and I need a vigor yeah. at minus two for please. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. <clears throat> minus two from you. There we go. Vigor. Minus two. Come on. Ah. Uh, um. And uh, so. You can spend that means I. Well, I can't. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna just. I think I just need to do it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Let me go. Fucking what? Up. Wait a second. Oh! Whoa! Brutal. Uh, wait, did I screw something up? No, no it's because they're minus twos. twos. So I did yeah. ro I rolled. I did roll two, yeah, I see. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh, yep. All right, okay. so and give us a 1d6 roll. Okay. Anna's calling bullshit on these monsters. Yeah, yeah I'm with I'm with Anna. Oh, <laughs> only one round, though. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, okay. so then, uh, so these things are done. <laughs> These things are done for this round, guys. Next up is uh, Badonka Donk. What are you doing? Holy shit. Every single thing that I can. Yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
So is there is there a limit on how many mystical powers I can use in a turn? Nope. You can do as many free actions. Okay. Then I will um, use two mystical powers to increase my fighting dice. Okay. So that's uh, what is do boost? That. That's from that's boost the like, ability of fighting. Uh, oh, oh boost. Let me double check. Oh, oh, I have to roll it to see if how good it is. No, no. You uh, remember only for the paladins and for the uh, monks. You just spend. Uh, you, it's the cost of the. Oh, thing, right. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, one so extra if you. Um, if you uh, want it to be a raise. Yeah. Right. Okay. No, I'll just do the one dice, and then, ah, uh, yeah, and then I will use smite. Okay. On my fists. Okay. So boost cost you what? You said you increased it. You're fighting by two? Uh, no, just by one dice. Just by one. Okay, so that cost you two, and then uh, smite. Cost me three, I think, was what I spent on it last time. Uh, uh, two to give it plus two, three us uh, uh, to give it plus four. Right. Because I want all that bonus, because then I'm going to use the... Um, multi-action maneuver. Nice. Or whatever you told me I could do before. Minus two, right? Yeah. So, so my attack. Let me go. So strike. first off, what do we see as your... I mean, is this sort of like an avatar moment where you're just like, yeah! Drawn on all your key power? I, um... I mean, I've been narrating sort of this version as Badonk that he's like sort of very uh, feral. And so maybe he, um, when he wants to like pull on so much power, he like actually bites his tongue. And so that the oh, blood just sort of yeah. pours out of the corners <laughs> of his mouth. Yep. And he just gets extremely uh, pumped. Okay. So go ahead and uh, make sure you've adjusted your, your dice to what you need it to be. And um, I take it you're going to attack now too? Yep. Now, remember, you so, can do a multi-attack. Uh, every extra attack you take, it just gives you minus two to all your actions. You just need to declare your multi-attacks. Like if you say you wanted to punch and kick, uh, you could take minus two to each of the attacks and attack twice. Right. You only ever get to roll one wild dice per round, though, so that's the only complicating factor. Right. And the... Wait, did something... What oh, that was if I... Oh, if I want to fight wildly as well. Yep. You could do that too. I mean, that cancels the penalty for one of the attacks. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to fight wildly. And uh, I'm going to... I stand corrected. I, I, I said that and I was like, I'm not sure that's right. You get your wild die on each of your actions. Wow. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's only for like the special... like. Um... Santiago's fan the hammer that yeah, he only yeah. gets one wild die. Okay. Right. So then I fight wildly and I'm going to do, if I do three total attacks, I think that means they're all at minus two. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Here we go. So attack number um, one. Uh, that, oh, and their, their parry is uh, five. So that's a hit. Okay, so damage on the first one. That is. Go ahead and roll damage. Six extra damage. Holy shit. Oh, Ten. nice. Uh, toughness is an eight. Uh, not quite enough to take it down. Oh, that doesn't include your plus. Oh, it does include the plus six. You rolled a one on that. Do you want to spend a penny and yeah. re-roll damage? Yeah, that's terrible. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll it. You need a 12 to take one out, uh, take him down outright. Yeah. Whoa, holy nice. shit. Uh, that's much better. <laughs> so yeah, you tear, and like one of them is torn completely apart. It also knocks books all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so never let it be said I don't give it my all. Uh, so and now, do yeah. I do all my attacks at once, or yes. do we pass around? Okay, nope. Now yep. you again. Yep. Okay. So second attack. Okay. I think Ooh. with that damage, wow. I'll give you a Benny back as well, too. 22 is a lot of damage to roll on an extra. Uh, so, 
Uh, you spend a Benny to re-roll if you want. Uh, yeah, then we'll just stay at two and re-roll that. Okay. Okay, come on. Money. Go. Oh! oh. So that one's a Terrible. miss. Then your final attack. Oh, man. Okay, and one more roll. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Hit with a raise. Uh, go ahead and roll damage, and you get to add the extra damage to this. And you're adding six on top of that, too. Yep. Nice. So, yeah, you just go completely feral on these things and tear apart two of these ones on you. Uh, Sir Yvain and Bargle, you are ensorcelled for this one round. But fortunately, that is it. So you guys are un... You're just shaken still, both of you. But uh, you are not uh, paralyzed any longer. So, let's draw some cards. Badonk. Queen of Hearts, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sir Yvain. Eight of Hearts. Bargle. Six of Clubs. And then the Critters. Jesus <laughs> face. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So first up <laughs> is the critters. But Don, I've only actually got one on you, which means I don't get... Um, and the other one is... Sh oh, I got to roll for the other one to get unshaken. Uh, it is unshaken and it gets to act, so I do get my... Um, I get a gang up bonus of one on you. Uh, I miss completely. You These things, you're such a... like You're like a, like a pissed off bobcat right now. Hiding yeah, under please. someone's car. And who says that we're not, uh, you know, a contemporary on this channel? Sir <laughs> <laughs> so, Yvain, uh, I get a gang up bonus of uh, plus three against you. Mm -hmm. uh, but the six will not do it. So once nice. you've shaken off that initial thing, maybe it's just the, it was that shock of, of seeing them come in beforehand. You're battering them back and forth. One of them tries to get in and you hit it with the pommel of your uh, sword. And then uh, Bargle, I only get a gang up bonus of one on you. Okay. Uh, my best roll is a five. I have a party of five. <laughs> okay. One of them yep. gets through. Yep. And your toughness is a five? Correct. Okay. Oh, fuck. I just rolled 12. 13, 14. 97. Okay. So um. six, 16. <laughs> your toughness is a five. One, yeah. two. I get... Uh, that is uh, two wounds on you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, do you want to... Spend a got, you so gotta, I really gotta do it. Okay. Uh, so here we go. Come on. <sighs> you want to spend that Benny to re-roll that? Uh, yeah, that'll be, and that'll take care of my last Benny. So well, you know we what, go. guys, we're in our last half hour, so why doesn't everyone take another Benny? Oh, uh, sweet. So I'll have one <laughs> left after, yep. after this roll. Here yep. we go. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> All right. So you got two wounds on you right now. Yeah. All right. Ah, ah, ah. A reminder to you, you have healing potions on you. You can quaff a healing potion to automatically remove one wound. Okay. Uh, just a minor healing potion. Um, uh, then it is uh, Badonk. That's all the critters. Badonk, what are you doing? You're still in full-on feral mode. You've got all your ah, monk abilities yeah. active. What are you doing? Uh, he's going to try to clear off these last two on him. So I'm okay. only going to uh, do two oh. attacks this round. So one uh, reminder to uh, Sir Yvain, even though you were not able to act last turn, Frederick could. Oh, yep. We totally forgot. I'll yep. do him when that's my turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, but don't go ahead. And, uh, but I am still wild fighting. Yeah. 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 So that means no penalty then if you're only taking one extra action. Yeah. Go ahead. So just a flat roll. Oh. Uh, that would... Mm. want to spend a Benny? Yep. Okay. We don't, we don't have a ton of time, so nope. let's keep going. Yeah, this game really works well. If hey, the default yeah. answer to yes. if you want to spend a Benny is yes. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, then uh, go ahead and roll damage. So that means it will do the bonus damage? Is that how that yeah, works? Yeah, it always automatically rolls the extra one. We just need to add it in is all. So Whoa, 28. Red's one. What does this look like as he like dives through one? Yeah, like <laughs> I think basically it's like his his mouth's almost going like a chainsaw. Just, <laughs> and he just rips through it. Go ahead, we make probably, your, your we probably should have just sent Madonk in there and let him stay in there so he killed all <laughs> <Yeah>. of them. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 
Go ahead and make your time. final attack here. There we go. go. Yes. Yep, that's a hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. And that damage is 20. So yes, this thing's... Yeah, he's shredded all the ones on him. Incredible. Now you can still move if you want as well. Yeah, I'll move to um, assist Sir Yvain. All right. That means Sir Yvain will gain a gain bonus of plus one. Let's put my character there. All righty. So Sir Yvain, you are up next. What are you doing? All right. Sir Yvain's about to pop off. He's got a <laughs> whole bunch of uh, <laughs> uh, magic bullshit to do. Um, all right, so Sir Yvain, he's sort of he. Oh, he needs to roll to unshake. Yes, yeah, so give us a. Uh, uh, there is an unshake button actually on there. Yeah, yeah, unshake. Come on, unshake. <laughs> Fails. Okay. You want to spend so your last then Benny? I can spend my Benny. Well, I could spend my Benny to just automatically unshake. Yeah. Right. Yes, you can. Uh, so I'll just. Uh, you can, uh, but I think because you've taken your action, that doesn't that means you don't get to act. Like, the risk-reward of it is you spend it up front, you unshake, then you take your action. You took uh -huh. your action to roll, you okay. failed, which means that you're you're going to unshake, but because your action was already to unshake... Okay. Well, you, what you well, could do, though, will, is I will. you could still roll it, though. You could roll again, and if you're successful, then you're unshake, yeah, and then, then you get I your action. Get All right, so I will, yeah, I will try to roll again. Okay. Um, Love it. With my unshaking. Yeah. Yes. All there right. we All go. right, so Sir Yvain... Um, kind of shakes his head, gets up into that position, and he raises up his sword, calls upon our cantrel, so he's going to first off do smite on his sword at a bonus <laughs> with a raise. Nice. Um, so he's got um, three points to that, so let me subtract that, minus three. And then he brings down the sword and he kisses right just above the hilt <laughs> and as he does that that light kind of flares out over almost like a halo around his head and his wound is healed so that's another three <laughs> yes um and then i think that's all i'm doing for for special stuff this turn because okay. i want to save something for the big one and assuming that there is a big one well also i mean <laughs> bargle may need some assistance as well bargle may uh, need some yes. assistance too so that that's a good point um yeah. all right so then i'm gonna do my uh raise smiting sword versus undead okay and, and then you get try plus, to smack uh plus one because of uh badonk's uh gang up awesome plus one Ooh, nice. I uh, hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. Roll damage. Come on. Oh, yeah. <sighs> One of them just goes flying back off of you. Uh, then it is Bargle's turn. You need to roll. Uh, isn't, it Fre isn't it Scaredy oh. Fred? Did we? Oh, it's Fred. Oh, Fred, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fred. Fred the Fearful. He's All got right, a spear. So. And it's yeah. very long. Actually, Fred, if Fred's fighting these things as well. The gang up bonus is plus two. All right. Mm. 1d6 plus 2. He hits. Not damage. Right. Uh, mm. Damage for the spear is... Um, oh, hold on here. I think so his strength is 1d6, so it'll be 1d6 plus the damage for the spear, which I think is probably 1d6. Probably six. Yeah. Yeah, because the sword is 1d8. Yeah, so why don't you roll 2d6 on that, and then uh, from... Yeah, it's, two, it's d6. 2d6. Right. 2d6, not 12d6. 2 Oh. <laughs> well, Fred, you're about as useful as we thought you could yep. be. <laughs> he forgot yeah. to sharpen He's it. also, he's <laughs> screaming in terror the whole time as well, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, no, uh, oh, then it is, so, okay, so Bargle, uh, did we roll your Vigor yeah. check last time for Paralyze? Yeah, he, he uh, paralyzed, yeah. and then that was the end of the round. And well, he so was now paralyzed for the one round, but then he was hit again. That's when he took those two wounds, right? This round? I don't think we rolled for Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah oh, no, we, we didn't do that yeah, one. So you're you're check you're minus correct. two. Please. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Give us that exploding. Oh, no. So, uh. 1d6. Okay. Only one round. Um, so this is the That's amazing. Okay, that is fantastic. All right, guys, so that is the end of the round. Then let's see here. We'll go once again. Badonk, King oh, of Clubs. Oh yes. Then Sir Yvain, yes. 
Ace of Clubs. Yes. And Ace. awesome. Bargle, bargle. Joker. Yeah. Joker. <laughs> Everybody, yeah. everyone gets a Benny. Bargle's going to get plus two to all of his actions this round, and he gets to choose when he acts. And then the critters, a nine. <laughs> Everybody's uh, first. <laughs> all right. All right. So about bar- time those cards turned. Oh yes. So yeah. Bargle, if you want to wait for a second, we might be able to get you out of trouble. Please. Yes. He's perfectly <laughs> yep. willing to wait for that. All those. right. <laughs> so Sir Yvain, he is going okay. to. Um, he also has um, do, 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 a special power called Smite Evil, which he hasn't used yet. So mm-hmm. as a free action, can choose an enemy. So he's going to choose this guy to be a free action as a free action. And I'm guessing it's evil because it's undead. Yep. And so he gets to reroll his fighting attack if he misses. Okay. Um, and he's going to take the multi-action penalty to make two attacks. Okay. So he's going to make an attack at minus so, two what? against... Oh, yeah, your healing is free action. That's right. Yeah, against the first one. Okay. Um, but he gets to reroll this if he misses. Yep. That is a All hit. All right, that's a hit. Now, here's the thing. Um, you get a free reroll. You always take the better unless you fumble. So you can free, feel free to take that reroll if you like. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do it. Fuck yeah. Uh, also, Arlen, your, the multi-attack bonus is equal to the multi-action. It's plus, yeah, you get plus two from Penalty multi-attack because right of uh, Fred. Just so you know. Oh right, so then I'm so I'm even on the attack. Yep, because yeah. it's minus two for the multi and my plus two for um, the gang up. So actually, that that would already be a raise. Uh, so you hit it with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, roll damage. <laughs> yep. <laughs> holy oh. So what does it look Jeez. like as this thing explodes with holy power? So yeah, uh, Sir Yvain kind of strikes down, catches it in the shoulder, and just sort of crunches through bone and, and muscle and all that sort of stuff. And then there's sort of a flare up of light as what remains of this thing is blasted off his sword. Yeah. And then he makes his second attack. Go ahead. Uh, now you um, can do that uh, uh, once per rank per encounter. So, oh yeah. So I might as well just do it again. Yep. Yep. So I'm just going to do that again. Um, and get my so I'll get a free reroll on this if I fail, um, which is good because that's not very good. So here's a reroll, still not very good. Oh. So I guess I missed that guy. Um, and then Fred gets his 1d6 plus two. Come on, Fred, five. Mm, that that, that, is, that is a hit. Yep, uh, go ahead awesome. and roll damage. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Holy wow. shit. Fred. <laughs> Fred we had right had it in the you. brain. All right. So Fred manages to, to drop one of these things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he awesome. skewers it through on his, and then it starts sliding away, and he's just like, ah! screaming and crying as it's following along like a, you know, <laughs> like it's stuck on the ground. Uh, I imagine then... him getting a good hit in, and it's like stuck on his spear, and he's like freaking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Sir Yvain, is that it for you this round, or do you have something That else? is it for me this round. You're not healing at all this round? Well, I'm not next to Bargle, am I? Or because he went oh, and yeah, hit behind us. Oh, check his touch. Right? Yes, shit. Yep. 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 Yeah. All right. So then next up is Badonk. Badonk, what are you doing? Or oh, actually, hold on. Oh, yeah. It's actually Bargle's choice because he's got a Joker. He acts whenever he wants. Yeah. So I'm what I was letting Badonk. Sir Yvain will say, Badonk, save Bargle as he's fighting the last one. So, yep. Badonk, you can do whatever you want. But if you wanted to do some multi actions and try to get over so, to Bargle and. The thing punch. he would do, uh, uh, there is a concept of uh, f- uh, free strikes in this. So, yeah. if he does. But uh, what I was thinking also is he could do his multi action, try to hit this guy and take him out, and then move and then do the second attack on these guys. Yep. Right? Right. Yeah. Yep. So, I will take three actions. I will fight wildly. Yep. So against this first one, um, that's a gang up. So that one's even because of the gang up. Okay. Uh, yes, you get uh, plus two from uh, that. Oop. Oh, just a hit. Uh, that is a hit, though. Go ahead and roll damage. I remember you're adding your smite uh, damage in there as well. Plus six and nine. So it's shaken, which means that it uh, it won't be able to make a free strike against you. Mm, so I guess I'll have to use my second attack on it. 
Okay. <clears throat> so that one would still be even because there's... Holy... Oh, that's a fumble. Yeah. Oh, that's a fumble. Wow. Oh, man. Amazing. Oh, hold on here. Um, 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 um. But Donk ran out of steam. Yeah. Or, you know, the alpha shows up. Well, actually, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll, that's what I'll take care of the fumbles. You hear a roar. Uh-oh. And flanked by the second wave comes the alpha. Oh, boy. They are Here still go. a good 20 yards away from you guys, so it'll be a, a round or two before they get, well, a round until they get to you. Uh, the alpha will be acting on his own card as well, too. Mm. So and I'm guessing mm -hmm. he's a wild card. Uh, it's a good chance mm. of that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so then it is, uh, but don't, you can still move if you want to. Uh, I still have one more attack. Ooh. Right? Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I guess I'll still try and finish this guy off. Can't. Come on. Mm -hmm. And then get over. Oh, the now he's. Yep. Hit with a raise. Dead. Go ahead and roll damage. Mm, yep. Yep. No, so it takes a little bit to get this damn thing down, but it is finally down. Then it is Bargle's turn. Okay. So first I'm going to try to unshake. Okay. Go ahead and roll your. Uh, my, uh, plus, my... plus two to this. Yeah. Uh, plus two, right, because of the Joker. Yep. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Yes! Nice. And okay, go. so I'm going to drink that potion. Okay. Three. So that uh, is we'll down to potion. One yeah. Okay, now hold on. Um, yep. Drinking a potion is an action, but you can take multi-actions. Oh, right. Um, so uh, I'm, oh. we'll take, I'll take two actions. Can I give you so one more bit of good news as well? Please, yes. So one of your abilities is... Uh, that you have, it is a uh, like a seasoned uh, wizard ability. It is your, let's see here, um, 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 favored powers. So let's yes. take a look and see what favored powers does. Get the fuck off of here. It's being sticky again. Casting. <laughs> Go away. Arcane protection. Yeah, and I was about to cast arcane protection, so that. Oh, hold on. Uh, once per turn, you can ignore up to two points of penalties and casting protection. Uh, oh, I thought it was Bolt for some reason. Hmm. Uh, so you can multi-action penalty uh, and take... You could cast Bolt and you could cast that if you want. Uh, I That is what I'd like to do because I need armor. <laughs> yeah. So you would, the net penalty is going to be a, uh, for taking three actions is a minus four, but you get right. plus two from your um, thing, so it's only a minus two. And you get to ignore that for your uh, for armor. The, the joke, and uh, be, right. Okay. I, I, so, okay. Yep. So yep. Yep. Both totally. would be at minus, minus two. two for, th and and not for the armor. Zero exactly. For the armor. So reduce your wounds by one. Yeah, down to one wound. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll just do the uh, the protection first, okay. since uh, there's uh, no penalty to that one. Okay. Here we go. Nice, a okay. raise. So that gives me uh, four, I think, for armor. I'll double check that. Oh, no, no, no. It goes to my, it applies to my toughness instead. Yeah, yeah. So you're immune to armor piercing. So you get plus two yeah. to your, so your toughness is now a seven. Yes, yep. Excellent. Just, uh, and then? Uh, and then I'm going to do my bolt, uh, which will be at the minus two. So here we okay. go to minus two. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, All you need is a four. No, uh, you're not going yeah, to disappear. Yeah, so I'm not going to. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, so you need a... Yeah. Four. Hit? Yeah. Yep. Go ahead and roll damage. Here we go. Eight. You Eight shake it. Damage. Nice. Okay. All right, so what, what do we see? Like, in the in the midst of all this crazy stuff, if you get in the potion, phew, your armor coming up? Yeah. yeah, so I think I, like, I, I kind of, like, am able to pull myself, pull myself out of this paralysis that I've been feeling and just jam a hand into my pouch, grab the potion, down it, throw the vial down it smashes on the ground mm. and then i go like this yep. and this like blackness kind of like covers me and then disappears and then i point my hand at the nearest one of these creatures <laughs> and amazing it bursts out all right that means there's only one left here uh then uh, it will, will not uh, get a gang up bonus because it's the other one's shaken and it doesn't get a wild die so i just have my regular dice uh does a five hit you uh, I have a parry of five. Parry of five. So it does hit. Yep. Uh, yep. But your uh, toughness is now Tough. a seven. Correct. 
uh, and I finally rolled less than <laughs> 12 on my first roll, so it does not get through. Your armor, what, yes. do, what, what do we see as it sort of like its claws right across you? Uh, I think it starts to rake, you know, it's trying to come across my chest, uh, and its actual claws get stuck into this blackness that appears momentarily, <laughs> and it slows the claw down, and it, yeah, it yep. hurts him to oh, pull I, back. I should roll to unshake for I failed my unshake roll. Okay. Nice. No, I didn't because he's undead. He gets plus two to it. Okay. So. Well, there we go. He is unshaken, um, but I will not. I've already hit you. I can't hit you more. All right. So then that is the end of theirs. So you guys hear this thing bellow and you, you realize as it's <laughs> kind of stepping out, it's about seven feet tall. And these things are sort of like crawling over it and dropping down and running forward like some kind of like mother, you know, uh, hound with its pups dropping off from where it's been suckling. And it's got bite marks from where these things were like gnawing on their master. Um, with that thing trumpeting its arrival, everyone gets a Benny. Sweet. And uh, that Always green bar. You'll need wonderful it. Wonderful imagery for <laughs> <laughs> going to sleep uh, in a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so then and Kev, I put a green bar to indicate my uh, duration of my protection. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so let me just... Uh, oh, let me go... You know, I'm not even using that other fucking deck. Let me just get rid of that stupid thing. Wake up, Werbin! <laughs> really? <laughs> exactly. This is the time. This is your moment. Okay. Yeah. We're shuffling the deck. I'll make sure I got everything. Has everything been recalled here? Yep. Okay, good, can't, good, I good. I can't remember. He's in the latest time zone of any of us. Uh, yeah, him, same time yeah. zone as I am. So it's about as uh, you are. Yeah, okay. for for because it's not uh, daylight saving. All right, so Badonk is up first. All right, Badonk seven of hearts. Yvain, sorry Yvain, nine of hearts. Bargle, bargle. A two, <laughs> and then the, the critters, yeah. small critters six, and the ghoul king ten. Ten. So, first up, does anyone want to spend any bennies to get new dice or new um, cards? I would like an extra card this round. Go ahead. Oh, As would I. Oh, nice. As so, would I. Okay. Bargle. How <laughs> <laughs> insulting is that? Brutal. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh, my goodness. Come on. So. Uh, the bennies for power points, can you do that whenever? Just whenever you, you like. just declare? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Sweet. That's yep. good. Good to know. Yeah, definitely good to know. All right. So then, oh, and uh, Bargo, how much do you, how many power points did you use? We, uh, the, the blue, oh, sorry. Yeah. Yep. I didn't put them in. Yep. I did. Yeah, your blue bar uh, will track right. to your character sheet as well, too. Yeah. Yeah. All it was, right. uh, it was w one for the bolt, and uh, uh, I think the armor was also one, but I'll, I'll okay. double check that. So the Ghoul right King now. is up first, uh, and we've got a Feral uh, Goblin, and we've got a uh, Glowing Paladin. I think there's a um, good cause. Uh, why don't you do this, guys? Um, oh, you know what? Badonk does have a, an edge called Luck. Yep, I, th I think it's totally fair if the Ghoul King attacks. Yeah, I think, you know what it's going to do is actually it's going right for Fred the... F I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill that fucking henchman. Uh, I, I do have. I'm gonna he take. Just a, sees meat. It's just like meat. Yeah, multi attack penalty uh, for this, so I can uh, hit both the uh, Fred do and it, you. Fred. Survive, Fred. All right. So first against Fred. Uh, oh, exploding dice. I got a raise against uh, Fred. Uh, so that means I get to roll an extra d6 against him. Uh, you know what? Fred is only shaken. <laughs> He turns awesome. screaming, gets hit. So Fred is. Oh, shaking. and I can't control Fred right now. Oh, let me give you the uh, control. It's because he's running away right now. Um, <laughs> that's that's probably fair. You yeah. guys all have control over Fred now. Fred, right. and I will put the shake. All on. right, and then against uh, Sir Yvain. Let's see here. Uh, ooh, I got a six. Does that hit you? That's not. Nice. So one of these massive claws batters Fred and kind of knocks him, uh, you know, off and wins him, uh, and then or wings uh, wins him, and then this other massive claw goes up against you, and your shield goes up. Oh, I need a vigor uh, check from uh, Fred. One d six minus two. Oh, no, that is a fumble. Uh, so he is uh, stunned for six rounds. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, that is it for the Ghoul King. He's Next up done. will be Sir Yvain. What are you doing, Sir Yvain? All right. Well, I was going to try to get Fred to help me, but I guess if he's going to be stunned for a while, <laughs> then probably not. <laughs> Um, I think I'm just running, or not even running in on the Ghoul King because he's right there. So yep. I'm going to, um, first, I'm going to do boost on my fighting. Okay. And so I'm going to spend three power points to, you see that that glowing light on my sword. Once again, it comes down and kind of covers my, my arms and shoulders again. Mm -hmm. And I um, get... Uh, Two, two die us up for fighting, so up okay. to the 12. Nice. And then mean old Kevin convinced me to use both of my uses of smite evil on the, the weaklings, <laughs> so I can't use it on the <laughs> alpha. Code co DM Arlen suggested introducing the ghoul king as part of this encounter, so... <laughs> okay, I this, suppose this is that the, is fair. You know, I, yeah. I, uh, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> I sold my uh, whatever to get you a comb, and you sold your hair to get me a whatever. So. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> oh, well, so I only get the um, the one try, but I got some bennies in case I don't get it. Um, okay. Fred, I'm guessing, is not applying any type of gang up. <laughs> um, you look over at he's Fred, he's frozen. frozen in a crying. <laughs> so, and then let me subtract minus three for that. Um, so yeah, I will do my, my sword. Okay. Here it comes. Go ahead. And I will reroll cause that's, that's terrible that's on a D12. Great. Nope. Here we go. Come on. A 10. 10, ten is a hit with a raise. 10 is a hit with a raise. Awesome. Yep. So this is gonna be pretty cool. I think. Here we go. Oh, 15 damage. That is a uh, hit, so he's a little tougher than what the other guys are. Mm -hmm. uh, that is it. Uh, you've shaken him. All right. Okay. Um, I think that's the only... Well, I could spend my Benny to re-roll, but I did... I rolled all right. What do you think? You only, I only got one, one left. left. Yeah. So I think, I think instead I'm going to save my Benny in case I need it for something else. Okay. Uh, next up is Badonkadonk. What are you doing? Um, okay, <laughs> Badonkadonk is going to um, spend two more power points and activate his... That didn't work. Three. There we go. Mm -hmm. And activate his deflection. Mm. Just roll it so it's in the thing. And apply two, a penalty of two to all of my foes on their melee attacks, and he's gonna just wade right into the middle of all of these <laughs> <laughs> dirty, fantastic. dirty monsters. I will tell you one thing: you cannot get a better uh, gang up bonus than four. Uh, so, and uh, he's going to um, just like go crazy. His his feralness has reached sort of peak. Okay, and. Uh, <laughs> It, it, it's almost like he's um, tearing at his own flesh with some of his attacks as much as he's tearing at their flesh. Love it. So how many attacks is he doing? He is going to do three attacks, yep. and he's still using his wild, being crazy and wild fighting. Incredible. Okay. So one of the things that, that uh, barbarians get is uh, when they're uh, berserk, they actually get uh, the benefit of plus four to damage, and I think it's plus four to hit when they do a wild. Mm. People get plus two to hit them, but... Oh, hit with a raise on your first one. Go ahead and roll damage. One of them is down. Second attack. Second one. Come on. Uh, hit, no raise. Another one down. And nice. last one. <laughs> Just a little bit of a raise. Oh <laughs> roll damage. God. <laughs> Holy the shit. Donk is just yeah. a machine. Wow. Yes. A shredding machine. Shredding these things. Holy smokes. All right. Uh, then it is the critters. So they get to get their revenge on you. I currently have a gang up bonus of four. So I get plus four to hit you, but minus two 
Uh, so I got a plus two to hit you. What is your parry normally? Uh, it's normally an eight. An eight. I hit you, but no raise. Uh, so you get... Uh, no, I got a four. So I don't think I get through your toughness, but I do need a vigor at minus two from you, please. All right. <laughs> he freezes in place. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Oh, oh. You want to oh. now? You want to spend a, a Benny to reroll? Yeah, let's reroll that. Yep. Uh, I want to check. Oh, my oh, it's terrible. As oh, well. that ain't good. Um, hold on. I want to check something here. I think only relief is the thing that gets rid of um, uh, oh, debuffs like stun and stuff like that. Yeah, I will check. Yeah, maybe check check see because I don't think I think um, there's like crippling injuries and stuff that uh, the um, healing can help get rid of. I think it's relief you need, and uh, Badonk doesn't have relief. Mm -hmm. All right, so you are yeah you throw yourself into there, but unfortunately you can feel your muscles. Uh, give us a d6 roll. See how long you're stuck in place here. Mm. Come on, one, 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 one. Yeah, seeing as both the other guys rolled ones on these, I'm pretty fucked. Yeah, Three. Pretty there you go. Okay. No. All right. Then it is uh, the two on Bargle. Bargle, you... Uh, let's see, this will be two on you. Let's see here. Uh, your parry is a five. I missed. I finally missed. All right. So then it is Bargle's turn. What are you doing, Bargle? Okay. I'm going to do two actions, which are two bolts, one to each of these two guys, hoping that I can... Uh, Cause some injury, injury to two of them, uh, and I'm gonna boost uh, my bolt uh, by one to do an extra d6 of damage each okay. on both of them. Fantastic! All right, so then so it's gonna cost me six power points in total, uh, and I'm gonna be at minus two to each of these attacks. Yep, go right ahead. There's so the first one. First one. To... Yep. Oh, you want to spend a bit? Okay. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, uh, you need to roll to unshake first, right? Uh, didn't, I, I think thought he just I didn't, last didn't round. move the... Oh, I was thinking you're rid of it. Yeah, yeah. he did unshake yeah. last round. Cheating yeah, DM? Yeah, okay. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, you want to spend a Benny to re-roll? <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so here we go. Rolling again. Minus two. Oh, I could have just hit yep. re-roll. That's a hit. Yes, there we go. Okay, and then roll so damage. Roll damage. You need a 12 there to go. annihilate this thing. Uh, <laughs> you hit not with a raise. Did you... Oh, you juice it up, though, so that's... I, 12. Uh, yep, here goes another another twenty. Oh. Blow through one of them. Oh, I see. Got it, got it, got it. Sorry, yeah. I didn't. I forgot it was already rolled. Yep. Correct. Right. Cool. Uh, and then this will be my. So let me just make sure I uh, use up my Benny before I forget, and then I'll do my second attack. Please do. Attack. Um, same thing. Bolts. Here we go. Minus two. Go. No. Oh. You want to spend your last Benny? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Go ahead. There we go. Bolt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Success. Go ahead and roll damage. Go. Eleven. Uh, Eleven. Oh, it's shaking. I know. Not quite. Oh. <laughs> and that is the end of the round. All right. So let's see here. We'll go once again. Same order here. Frozen Badonk. King. King. Sir Yvain. Seven and bargle bargle. A three. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, then <laughs> for the critters, small critters, a nine. And for the ghoul king, three. Oh. Mm -hmm. All mm. right. So then uh, anybody spending bennies to. Um, you know what? Uh, Steve, do you mind giving uh, Werbin's bennies over to bargle? <laughs> All right then. All right, thanks. Yes, just, just just say no if you don't want to do it. Yeah. So okay. let's give one to Bargle and one to Sir Yvain. <laughs> so, uh, do either of you guys wish to? Uh... Yes, I will. I will buy another card with a Benny. Okay. So I'm Here back on one. Here we go. Come on. Oh, didn't Dish. pay off. What I got you... screwed last time. I'm not going to do it this time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that Joker's still in the deck. I don't know. I know, but I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna need that uh, Bendy for something else. If it helps, you were acting before the Ghoul King. Because uh, diamonds yeah. comes before clubs. Right, yeah. right, right, right. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep my three. All right. So yeah. first up is Badonkadonk. Two more rounds of paralysis. 
And so what you're saying is there's nothing I can do about it. I, yeah, there's no, absent someone using a, uh, an ability to help you recover, there's nothing you can do here. I got, I got your back, buddy. Nice. Uh, you, so you can hold your action if you want, uh, Badonk. If uh, Sir Yvain is going to gonna relieve you. Oh. Yeah, so you could hold your action until like a, a five. Because sure. what, what's happened is like Sir yeah. Yvain has, has hammered uh, the Ghoul King in the face and he's sort of like staggered back. So Sir Yvain has an opening. He could get to you without a free strike. Oh, okay. I yeah. think you'd have to run to do it because I think you're slower than what Badonk is and what these ghouls are. But all well, it does, it gives you a minus two to any actions that round. That's all. So actually, my relief, it has a range of smarts. Oh, so I can do it at range. Yeah, yeah. And I can, awesome. I can spend more power points to boost up the range if I need What's to. What's your uh, smarts dice? My smarts dice is a d6. A d6. So that's uh, six yards, which would be, uh, or six inches, which is uh, uh, 18 yards. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's probably good enough. Well, that's far. Oh, yeah. Well, or I could yeah. spend an extra power point to boost up the range if I was on and just call it even. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> All right. So then uh, let's see here. First up is the critters. Uh, so we got one that's going to see if it unshakes. It does not unshake. It's still staggered from that blackened bolt of yours. Awesome. Um, that's a great name. I should really think of a comic character. Um, mm -hmm. Then I it is... Uh, let's see here. Two... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, but don't, these things are all going to leap on you right now. Uh, mum, 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 mum. So let's see in here. I got a... I rolled a nine, so I think that even if you weren't uh, paralyzed, they'd still hit you. You'd yeah. be vulnerable, so your peril, your uh, thing would be at uh, seven, which means I didn't get a raise against you. So it's just flat damage here. Let's see, come on, uh, uh, nine. What's your what's your toughness? Six. So you are shaken. Okay. That's it. So it's not. Do you there. just click the thing or what? What I've been doing is click on it, go to the little circle instead of the cog, and then I put the uh, X that we've been using that as to mark. Oh, it. that's shaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. So that's it for them. And then next up is Sir Yvain. All right. I'm gonna spend my last Benny to get some more power points. So that so gives me plus five. You can so feel I call the upon our cantrell say, I'm sorry I called that to the whole future. You're the only God I trust. And <laughs> You're the only one for me, extra, baby. She gives me some <laughs> extra points. And then I do relief, which costs me one, and I'm going to boost it by one so that it can affect stunned. And I'm going to boost it by another, so it's going to cost me three to get the range. Um, to So I, I sort of uh, lean around the alpha and sort of point at Badonk with my sword and Badonk you can feel that sort of stiffness in your limbs mm. there's sort of glow around your arms and your legs as that stiffness fades uh, and you're yeah. back in action all right um, and let me check if I can do that for free or not I think all of yours are free actions uh, for, oh well for, then yep they're, if they're all free then I might as well take a swipe with my sword please do try to smack um, so no modifiers go ahead um, my fighting is already boosted, so let's do that. As That's a, pretty good. Hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. Awesome. Come on. 27. So that awesome. would have normally caused a shit ton of damage if he wasn't unstoppable. Oh, no. Oh. One wound on him so far. All right. Yeah. Ah. All right, then it is... Um, Badonk, uh, you can choose to go next. You've been holding your action. So I can spend a Benny to unshake automatically? Yes. Then you don't need to roll for it, and then you can take your action normally. Perfect. Let's do that. Okay. Since we're already over time. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I do I just click this thing again. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. It's like, it, it. it's almost like he wasn't even frozen. Yeah. It's like it's like you know, like the wounds he's kind of opened yeah. up on himself, so like kind of stopped bleeding for a second, and yep. now the you know, like the the drop of blood as Sir Yvain lets him free, like hits the ground, and it's just his feralness comes out again. <laughs> Amazing. Go ahead. And I'm gonna do three actions again. Yep. So minus two. Oh, minus two. First attack. Uh, hit no raise. Go ahead and roll damage. 
Mm -hmm. hey, you shaking one of them? Nice. And okay. second attack. I'll uh, hit a different one, I guess. Ooh, no, you will not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will spend a Benny. Nice. Okay. Yes. And zero. Reroll that. Come on. Yep, that's yes. a hit. No, roll, uh, no raise. Go ahead and roll damage. Yes. <laughs> Boom, nice. another one. Yeah, torn apart. And, and then my last attack. Yes. Hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. 18. Amazing. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Incredible stuff. All right. And I'm so going to spend, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to spend two more uh, key points to use my deflection again on the ones remaining around me. Oh, did your deflection end? Oh, does it? Oh, I don't know. What's the duration? Is it duration five? So usually oh, yeah, five. Click on it. I, I just wasn't sure because I wasn't sure because of the paralysis. Oh, yeah. I know you're, I think you're right. Any, because of stunning, you would have ended the ongoing. It's oh, that says... means all of, all of your shit would have ended then. All the oh uh, yeah, oh, all of it does. Yeah, oh. yeah, because you're you're maintaining all those spells. So like your the smite, we don't really worry about it for this one. But just it's good to know for in future if you did. Yeah, get stunned. yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it is uh, bar uh, Bargle. What are you doing, Bargle? Uh, I'm gonna try to take out this one that's in my face with a bolt. Uh, that's a that's gonna be boosted, so it's gonna cost me three power points. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Hit with a raise. Go ahead and roll damage. So you'll roll your damage. We'll add those. And never mind. It's it's what yeah. what does it look like? As this thing is just annihilated by your blackened power. Uh, I just think it was right through its rib cage and like shatters all the ribs that are still there. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right. So then on its turn, I'm gonna spend one of its bennies to unshake, uh, and then I'm gonna try and uh, do some damage to Sir Yvain with uh, two attacks here. So uh, my first one hits a uh, five. That is a miss, I think. That is a so, miss. Or rather, you blocked both of them. <laughs> yeah. Does is not able to get through to you. Actually, it was only a four because he's got a wound penalty now. Mm. All right. So let's hear. It should be the final round now, guys. Let's finish these things up. Badonka donk, Jack of Spades, Sir Yvain, mm. five of Spades. Once again, DM screws you, Bargle. Ace of Diamonds, fantastic, nice. and then the Ghoul King or the Critters, see here, get a nine of clubs, and Ghoul King gets Jack of Hearts. That means Badonk acts first. Oh no, it means Bargle acts first. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and, I'm gonna. Keep, oh, sorry. Yeah, everyone's keeping all their. Oh, I guess we're out. We're out. So Bargle's the only one. I'm guessing you're staying with the Ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. You know what I'll do? I, I am you know going to spend. I got. I've got three bennies with the Ghoul King. I'll spend a, a Benny. Let's see what he gets as his alternate. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. No. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to uh, target the uh, Ghoul King with a bolt this time. I'll juice it up. So it's going to cost me three power points. Okay. Here we go. Uh, can I give one more suggestion here? Yeah. Uh, your power modifiers. Uh, you can add things like um, lingering damage, like fatigue. I can, but I don't have enough uh, power points remaining to do it. What you can do is take a penalty to your casting. Remember, if you oh, don't have the right. points. I forgot, about that. I, forgot. I forgot about that. Yes, yes, yes. You can also uh, spend your last Benny to gain five power points. I, I know, but I feel like if I, I, I didn't want to spend it uh, I already rolled and I didn't mm. so I but before that I did, wanted to be able to re-roll if I you know got it okay yeah you know yep. just in case if I missed yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I still will you know uh so well, that's still a hit already, right so yeah it's still, it's a, still hit. a hit and you got this for so, re-rolling damage now too so go ahead and roll damage yeah yeah so here's uh, some damage and I boosted it up by 14. by d6 so, so it would be an additional so 16 is actually two guys Two wounds on him now. Yes. <laughs> Badonk, right. you're up next. Okay. Um, Badonk will... Um, I'll just take um, two actions. Oh, well, screw it. I'll just take all three. 
<laughs> nice. Awesome. So your uh, your um, fighting should be back to normal. Uh, yeah, I, I changed yeah. it. Okay, back. great. Awesome. Yeah. Go ahead. Fuck uh, yeah. Yep, hit. No, not a raise, but a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, Jesus. Another one gone. Perfect. Perfect. Second attack. Oh. Oh, not a fumble, though. All right. No, it's not an actual fumble. And one more attack. Come on. Yes. That's a hit. No, uh, no raise. Go ahead, roll damage. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Incredible. Just shaking one left. All right. So then it is Ghoul King's turn. Uh, so um, he does not care for you. Didn't so he get, been... Wouldn't he have gotten shaken by Bargle's bolt also? Because He would have been. I'm spending my last Benny to get rid of that shaken. Excellent. And then I am, and technically I do have other bennies because I start with a number equal to the players. Oh man! Yeah. Now, if you wanted to be on theme for the for the barrel maze, Kev, you should actually eat Frederick the Fearful as your final action <laughs> as the leader. And then heal of the... one wound. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're already over time anyway. He consumes him. <laughs> okay, so I've got. Uh, he's wild attacking on Sir Yvain. He really wants to hit him. Uh, yeah. So I get one well, that just offsets his penalties. Oh, got an exploding dice. 12. 16. 16 Whoa. is a hit with a raise. Hit with a raise, okay. Wow. So damage is going to be... Let's see here. Here's where my dice will betray me, though. Uh, nope. Um, I got a 9 right on the that nose. That is equal to my toughness, yeah. So you are shaken. All right. Then he has his second strike on you. Uh, that is a miss. Okay, nice. he is vulnerable now, though, which means you get plus two to hit him. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Okay, so and I need a vigor check from you at minus two. All right, vigor. And... Yeah. Yeah. And he moves. You know, it's that sweeping. You know, uh, Hollywood. Nice, good job. Yep. Uh, you know, the where if he is, the size of his arms are like the size of a tree sweeping India. Uh, then it is uh, the critters. I've got one that's shaken. That's the last one remaining. It is still shaken. And then it is Sir Yvain. What are you doing? All right. So I'm going to roll to unshake. Okay. Come on. Um, wait. If I So if I want to do multiple things, does the multi-action penalty apply to my roll to unshake? No. no. That, that's okay. not a... Yeah. Because it, okay. uh, that is independent of the other actions. If you yep. succeed on that, then you get to take an action. So. Okay. So I will, I will roll to unshake. Here we go. Come on. And let's see. Let's see. Yes. yes. So I'm not shaken. Okay. Um, so let me get rid of that. And then I'm going to spend my three more points to boost my strength. Nice. So my strength is going to go up to a uh, D12, I think, for okay. three. Nice. Yeah. So yep. that does that. You have plus and then I'm gonna do the two to hit him as well. Yep, and then I'm going to do the multi-action penalty to attack him twice so that I can try to deal two wounds because I know he needs four to die and he can only take one from each hit. Yep. So, yeah, plus two to hit him, you said? Yes. That All is, right. Uh, hit with a raise. Roll damage. <laughs> that is a hit uh, and a wound. What does it look like as the Ghoul King dies? Oh, I think I need to do one more because he, he's a wild card, right? Uh, right, but that's... Uh, oh, he, no, he's, he's not shaking. That's right. Yeah, you got to shake yep. him again. That is correct. Yep. All right, so I will I will swing again. That's why I did my second. Come on. That is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Roll damage. Come on. Yes. Now... Now, what does it look like? All right. <laughs> As the Ghoul Sir King Yvain dies. Calls upon our cantrill. You can see underneath his. He's actually wearing chainmail armor. That's not pictured, but that's what it says on his sheet. You can see underneath his chainmail his muscles bulging from his righteous fury at this thing. And he just cleaves down right into the center of its skull. And a splatter of gore all over. Sword blazes with light as this thing's flesh is burning in contact with it. And he wrenches it out and it falls to the ground. <laughs> nice. The reason I'm laughing is because I'm picturing Frederick is standing perfectly still for another moment or so afterwards until he finally unfreezes. <laughs> and and then, of course, runs off into the wilderness. He's, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I think it takes you guys about a minute 
to calm Badonk down as he is just shredding this pile of ghouls <laughs> that he is standing on top of. So one of, that, that actually prompts oh, one of the really neat things with uh, the way multi-classing works in this, because the way the classes uh, function is that they're just edges. Everyone gets a free class edge, or you take a profession edge instead. The profession ones are a lot shittier than the class edges, but you take the class edges. Um, you can take an extra class edge as a, a as a normal edge selection once per tier. Mm. So mm. you could, mm -hmm. in theory, take you know barbarian as your next one, and then you'd get rage ability on top of your existing mm. monk abilities and shit. So it would fit the way I, he was playing today. Totally, totally. Yeah. So guys, yeah. as we uh, will close with you guys arriving back in town with Frederick the Fearful, now uh, the first meh, one of the first uh, hirelings to return to uh, uh, what do you call it? to return to Helix unscathed. And uh, you guys have once, uh, you guys have now successfully brought uh, peace once again to. I think we're here. Let's see here. Is that right? No, it's a Duchy of Eric. Ah, that's close enough. Uh, so the Duchy of Eric is, uh, and uh, Helix in particular, is safe for the remainder of the winter. Um, that'll bring our session to a close, guys. So uh, the I know we're a really uh, past time here, so I won't uh, keep you for a debrief here. Uh, we'll just keep it to a strict thumbs up, thumbs down. Savage Pathfinder, Jeff, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, thumbs up as Badonk is telling everyone in the bar a little tale. Oh, they really got you out there, Badonk. Oh, oh no, I did that to myself. There. <laughs> oh, over there. Oh, no, oh, that was me too. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he shows them his thumbs where he ran them along his teeth. <laughs> Jeez. And uh, uh, Arlen, uh, Savage Pathfinder, thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, yeah, thumbs up. Yeah. And George? I mean, oh, yeah, definitely. All you yeah, did was explode. The... I mean, the, the, as soon as I arrived, I got to do something insane. So that was great. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. So for those listening at home, uh, Savage Pathfinder is still, the, the actual uh, release is not out yet, but you still can uh, back, uh, you can do a late backing on uh, Kickstarter. Uh, for it if you choose to uh, we're not being sponsored or anything like that this is just a game that i really really enjoyed so we have no and are yep. you are, are you ready to tell everybody about when we might be playing more about well it yeah it's it's funny you mention that because uh we do have uh this thing coming up in about a month's time uh at the time of recording uh that is our annual gaming marathon and what we do over the gaming marathon is we'll be playing four games of the same um or set in the same um uh, what do you call it? The same uh, game, sometimes different players over the course of the uh, campaign, or the weekend at least. And uh, what we will be doing this year is playing a little Savage Pathfinder over the uh, extent of the weekend. And the setting we're going to be using is... Uh, where are you, my friend? Something I love so much, I actually have two copies of it. One copy of it here that is like my keep copy and my one copy of my reading copy. We're going to be playing Iron Gods. The Pathfinder Adventure Path that is hands down my absolute favorite. So we're taking advantage of the incredible multiversal uh, assets that we have for Savage Worlds. Throwing in a little bit, so we'll be seeing some rat folk and some androids and some gunslingers and robots and mutants. It is going to be a great, great weekend. And I, yeah, big fucking thumbs up from, from me. This is really going to be a great uh, game to play for the gaming marathon. So... Um, with that, let me wrap up very quickly here saying a huge thank you to everyone who joined us uh, uh, listening at home. Uh, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the session, the game, uh, or the um, adventure I guess we played, uh, against uh, Barrow Maze Complete, Greg Gillespie's incredible um, uh, Mega Dungeon. Um, speaking of which, you still can also, his new Barrow Maze, you can also back that on Kickstarter late and get uh, copies. PDFs are going out semi-soon, and if you want to pick up any of his other uh, Mega Dungeons at a discount rate through the, the Kickstarter, he's already mailed all of those too, so you can uh, get a late uh, addition to that. Um, you can find leave a comment below, you can find us on uh, the Dungeon Musings Discord server, uh, you can also find us on uh, find me on Twitter at Dungeon Musings. You can find me on uh, by email. My email address is uh, dungeonmusings at gmail.com. And you can find contact info for most of our players down below, too, if you want to get in touch with uh, any of them. Uh, or if you want to check out any of their awesome content, too, like, say, Arlen's incredible uh, YouTube channel where he is insanely prolific 
with uh, posting content or if you want to go to George's IMDB page and see again and again and again <laughs> and again what <laughs> all the great stuff the more you go there the more it benefits <laughs> George so by all means you know but spending your idle time going and hitting refresh and refresh and refresh, <laughs> never a bad way to spend your time. Yeah, just break the algorithm. I appreciate it. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> In addition, uh, you can find uh, all of us on the Dungeon Musings Discord server. You can find a link to that below. And last thing is, the uh, Dungeon Musings uh, channel also supports the Heroes Save Villages campaign. It is the charity initiative we have on the channel, benefiting SOS Children's Villages International, a really great organization active in over 130 countries, benefiting over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children. I think that what we'll do over the course of uh, the Gaming Marathon too is because bennies are such a really valuable and helpful asset, we're going to set up something where for every donation you make in uh, a certain kind of token amount, we'll kick some extra bennies in for the players to start the next session with because I plan on kicking the shit out of them. Um, the uh, last thing I will say is a speaking of the players is a huge thank you to the players who joined today. Uh, we really only we honestly thought we were gonna be down quite a few players, so I started working on this, and then we kept hearing from more people who were willing to play. I'm like, oh, another character, oh, another character, oh, another character, and I do not regret it for a second. <laughs> this was a terrific, terrifically fun time. So, Stevo, Jeffrey. Arlen and George, thank you so much for playing today, guys. And, and uh, Andrew, we knew you were going to be in today. Andrew had some critical failures on his uh, computer's roles tonight, so we're sorry that you weren't able to join us, Andrew. Uh, but Andrew will be joining us for the Gaming Marathon. We actually have an incredible 12 players who are going to be joining us over the course of the uh, Gaming Marathon. Um, in addition, everybody who did not have a copy of the Savage Worlds uh, Adventure Edition has been supplied with a copy now thanks to the ad revenue from the channel thanks to the uh, people who are supporting us on patreon thanks to people buying stuff from the red bubble shop and those who already had a copy got something else that we'll be playing uh, after the gaming marathon in uh, the weekend of june 4th so thank you to everybody who has uh, supported the channel that has given us a way of saying thank you to the players and give them something to remember for the uh, gaming marathon, apart from the horrific trauma I intend on inflicting on them. So, with <laughs> He's that... He's not lying. Yeah, not even a little bit. There's so many great giant robots. <laughs> it's going to be a fantastic. So for those listening at home, once again, thank you so much for joining us. If you are joining us during the current crisis, we hope this finds you healthy, safe, and weathering the current crisis as well as can be expected. Uh, we hope that we gave you a few hours to take your mind off of the troubles of our world and think of the troubles that our heroes got up to in the barrel maze. And until we see you again, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming.